The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, away. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I'm your host. My name is Scotty German, the podcast prodigy, and alongside me as <laughs> Oh, wait usual. a minute. Time out. <laughs> no. You thought you were just going to sneak on. that by everybody Hold real on. quick. Hold on. What? <laughs> wait what? a minute. Why I had you just gotten think? used to Scooter McFuck's. <laughs> right. And then you tried to just slip that in real fast, like like you had it all. No. <laughs> Can we just call you PP for short? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We can, but first we have an excellent stand up comedian. He is the anti lesbian homosexual, Mr. JP. I prefer stand up comedic prodigy. Okay, Uh fair enough. Uh, Yeah, Uh, welcome in, JP. And uh, the myth, the legend, he is the 1984 Kingman County T Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award winner, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. (laughs) It's such a pleasure. It is. Must be. Uh, you're going to have to forgive me. I am very out of sorts. Oh. Uh, I was at home. Uh, somebody had made me a glass of iced tea. I drank it. I woke up here. <laughs> I job. have questions. If I had a nickel. <laughs> I have lots of questions. Why am I here? Why were my pants undone? Uh, I recall job, you asking me yeah. uh, to do this podcast. Yeah. I remember very vividly saying not in a million. I don't remember if it was a million or billion. Either way, um, it was a long time. Yeah. And... Uh, now here I am. Yeah, I know. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't only use my roofies for sex. <laughs> That's <laughs> <I'm>, true. <laughs> I use them for kidnapping as well. Sure, sure. <laughs> oh, shit. And well, I guess taking my belt off just takes weight off. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Makes sense. Makes sense. It's muscle memory. Every, every ounce counts. <laughs> muscle sure. memory. Every yeah. time I roofie somebody. Right. I mean, <laughs> hey, what's anyways. weird is I was roofied and still on top. <laughs> Yeah, wow. I'm good. <laughs> you are good. 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 good for you. All right. Welcome into another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. If this is the very first time you've listened to one of these podcasts, this is a comedy podcast where we like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. Also, this is an adult podcast where we like to use foul language and uh, offend as many people as we possibly can. So in the words of Ricky Gervais, you found it offensive. I found it funny. That's why I'm happier than you. Ah, oh, we Take got it a from lot. the prodigy, folks. That's right. Yeah, he knows. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You may think you don't like it, but he knows better. Yeah. I do. You do. You I do. do like it. I do. I do. Uh, we do have an excellent episode. This is uh, kind of a special episode. We're recording on a day we don't normally record, uh, just so we can, you know, appease the legend himself, so he can uh, come and. That's be on the another show. thing I want to address. Oh. Uh, you you have called me that several times, like in our fantasy football league. Yeah. The, the the myth the legend i am not a myth oh. i can i can vouch for that i am i do exist okay i am not a myth okay that's legend fair. yeah okay for so, sure so do you want me to be like the conspiracy theory or uh whatever it can't make me like you any less <laughs> okay. i can tell you that <laughs> fine whatever uh but anyways we do have a great episode today we've got current events to go over some overrated underrated and that's where i draw the line with jeremy joseph this is the first time he'll be a part of that Uh, We got questions and preguntas, a draft, and as always, a shitty situation to wrap up. But first, we're going to go over our week, week recap. What's happened to us over the last uh, week, Jeremy, last like six months. Uh, But JP, we're going to kick it off with you because, you know, you are so anticlimactically funny. Dude, it's been like three days since I've been here, (laughs) bro. Sorry, man. You know, I don't do anything in a seven-day period. I know. What do you expect me to have done in fucking three? Well, it's a a 50-50 shot that you were able to go bowling. I did go bowling one time. There you go. Okay. Did you use one of your mini balls? Well, yeah, one of the new ones. <laughs> no, he, both, both he, it was a ones. special kind, Scotty. He <clears throat> didn't use a ball. Um, <laughs> he just threw his shoes down at the pen. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 
Smoked a lot of pot, played some video games, man. I really haven't done much. Yeah? Yeah, I know that's going to... What video games are you playing? Uh, PGA Tour. Okay. Uh, we play um, well, see, this new baseball game that just came out. Uh, God, I can't MLB the, the show? No, no, it's better. It's like it's uh it's better, man. Like, I can't think of the name. It, it's right so now. good it it's doesn't have a name. It's the fourth one. <laughs> I don't I've got know. All the rest of them. They're like more cartoony. The characters are more cartoony. Is it NCAA softball? <laughs> this is the first year they had pro. Uh, yep. Damn it. Uh, wow. J- JP's the only one who bought that game. No, dude. <laughs> it's a bunch. It's a stars. A whole bunch of well, lesbians. that's because everybody's fucking misogynist. <laughs> that's yeah. right. Yeah. Uh, anyway, yeah. are there um, lesbians that play softball? I haven't noticed. Yeah. Not too many. Oh, really? No, oh. no, no, no. Okay. Same way as there's not that many lesbian bowlers. <laughs> well, really, uh, they're all straight. <laughs> I yep. it. <laughs> you know it, man. You bet. I uh, used to think that a lot of uh, women's softball players must be really mouthy, but it turns out that's just black makeup that they put. They were, oh, yeah. Yeah, they were yeah. punched. No, that's, they didn't they, get they punched. They were punched. <laughs> the only punch in there getting is finger punch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, so I, I hear that uh, our good friend of the podcast, uh, the, the voice of the wind surge, Mr. Tim Grubbs, ran into you at work. Yeah, yeah, he, he yeah he wanted me to tell you hi. He uh, he's a good dude. Why didn't he do um, it then? Uh, well, why he, did he have to go through a third party? He could have told JP in those dulcet tones of his. <laughs> he, <laughs> he didn't want to. He didn't want to make it weird, you know, seeing a superstar in public. So he came up to me later and was like, "Hey, does JP work here?" And I was just like, "Yes." And he goes, "I saw him. I saw him. I uh, yeah, he doesn't look gay." And I was like, "I know it, yeah. he doesn't." <laughs> <laughs> Even though I sucked his dick, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, you, you did it like a straight dude you, yeah you did yeah. it like a man oh. man i mean remember that folks oh, so that's uh, so terrible ah yeah. uh, man but anyways how, that's awesome okay how I have good a, a fan <laughs> how a good fan. a fucking asmr awesome. would a podcast with jp and tim grubbs those two fucking voices <laughs> <laughs> i, I if, if you need to relax off into a fucking hypnotic state <laughs> yeah, yeah that would be I should uh, start doing asmr li- you should that would be a good uh, line of income for you Dude, I need some income. <laughs> Just Believe saying. me, any income would be great. Uh, oh, really? You can't keep parking I'm not in rich. Front of I'm not rich driveways. like like you and Derek and I, Jeremy. Uh huh. Just do some more insurance fraud. Yeah. And work uh, here's the thing, man. I would love to. <laughs> if sure. you have any ideas, <laughs> <laughs> he's not above that at all. I am not Dude, above that. If you uh, can find me a way <laughs> to to get whiplash or just, I any, will walk out in front of your car. Uh, and just putting that out there i will walk out in front of if, your car if you can guarantee you're not going more than 15 <laughs> yeah, i i'm in i'll take a stroll oh shit man i've done way worse for way less mm-hmm. i'm sure oh god that's great well welcome in mr jp <laughs> thank you sir uh i i it's true it's correct we haven't been like we haven't had an episode in three days for me and jp so uh but believe it or not over this uh holiday weekend it's uh it's labor day right I mix up the Memorial and the Labor Days, um, but uh, I did. Uh, we we had uh, college football. What? Uh, what are you making fun of me already? Well, I mix up Memorial Day and Labor Day. I, I suck in two completely different fucking holidays. <laughs> well, yeah. What do you mean you? Ma- you know what I really get fucked up is Halloween and Christmas. <laughs> I I yeah. can't get it straight. Yeah, <laughs> one of them's bullshit. One of them honors our heroes. Sure. <laughs> Last Christmas, I was throwing candy at kids from the porch, and I just didn't, I don't know what was going I believe on. Uh, Memorial Day is the official day of white pants. <laughs> yeah. And, and, yes, and that's then it. that's all stops yeah. on Labor Day. That's yeah. what you think of. That's right. Yeah. Uh, Memorial <laughs> Day with an M comes in May, Scotty. <laughs> okay, got that's it. That's the best way to remember I'll, it. I'll try to remember Other than, you know, our fallen heroes. Yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah, other than that, yeah. Yeah, uh, but anyways, we got the kickoff of uh, college football, and so I wanted to go to uh, hang out with my stepdad. That's he, he's big into college football, and so sure. You know what, Scotty? Yeah. Fuck you and your fucking face. How <laughs> many fucking step parents do you have, dude? I got two. I got two sets. Yeah, man, you got a lot of parents. Bro. I do. I do. <laughs> I got must four, be not, must be four nice. must Christmases, be nice, motherfucker. Must be nice. Yeah, man. it is. Uh, but anyway, seriously, fuck you in your fucking face. Yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, I don't actually need a reason to say that. Okay. okay. It had nothing to do with anything you said. Correct. I just, <laughs> I, I just felt it, it and I just I put it out there. Okay. 
<laughs> uh, went to Buffalo Wild Wings to hang out with uh, him and then like the bar group of people that we hang out with. Cool, and, man. And, and no, no, it actually really was kind of cool. No, I'm sure I, it was. I'm sitting there watching football, uh, and all of a sudden this dude comes up to me all nonchalant right next to me, just came up, kind of scared me a little bit, and goes, hey, real quick question. Are you Scotty Gurman? And I went, yeah and he goes man i'm a big fan of the podcast and oh, right it shakes on. my hand and i was just like i was so thrown off guard because i didn't see him it, coming and he was much larger than me he was a he was like a six foot dude no yeah, yeah. bigger than you <laughs> yeah. are you oh sure my God. Wow. Wow. From five he foot must seven have been God. a giant <laughs> or or at least a toddler <laughs> <laughs> yeah. he was eight <laughs> but but i was actually so thrown off guard that i was i didn't I didn't know if I did, but I felt like after he walked away, I was like, man, I kind of felt like I was really unappreciative and didn't really. Yes. I, I, I you're sh- a real piece of I, shit. I we <laughs> just said that you didn't like those kind of people. I love them. I have, all, I have you, had this happen like three wow, times wow, where I've been recognized in public because of this. And every time it catches me so off guard, yeah. like I'm just as in awe of them <laughs> as they are of me. And I mean, granted, yeah, they're meeting their hero. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But yeah, it's like, oh, I, I should have taken a little more time with that guy. Yeah. I always <laughs> feel bad about it afterwards. Or did I come off looking like a conceited jerk yes. or whatever? Yeah, that's me. I'm the podcast guy. Please, yeah. you're in my bubble. Well, mm-hmm. I, I did. I felt bad. And so, and then I, then I'm all of a sudden, I'm like, grounded and it was right in front of my parents too my parents are sitting right next so that's the first yeah. time they've ever seen this happen and they're just like that's, it happened right in front of my wife somebody. every time with me so yeah it's yeah. like oh yeah that's, that's better so I've, i'm like if it happens when you're around this much just imagine how much it happens when yeah. you're not yeah, exactly. yeah. All right this happens all the time None. but it was <laughs> it was so funny because my parents seeing it for the first time and they're just like Oh my God! I am so proud of my son. Have I'm they just seen like, the uh, podcast? Oh yeah, they oh, have. That's good. Oh yeah. Cool. Good. Wait, why should they be proud? They don't know anything about this guy. Yeah, I, I don't know, but the whole thing was <laughs> yeah. is it's they the, know he likes wings. That's it. it. Yeah, <laughs> it's the very first time this happened, and I'm just like, man, in my head, I'm going, man, I, I don't know if I like showed I appreciate that so much. So I'm like, I'm gonna buy the guy a drink. So I look over uh, a little bit later, and he's not there anymore. Like he just up and left, and I'm like, motherfucker. He's gone for about 15 minutes, and then finally I see him. I'm like, where the fuck did he go? Go over there, tap him on the shoulder, and say, hey, man, I really appreciate it. If you don't mind, I'd like to buy you a drink. Uh, I just just wanted to show I appreciate it. And he had a drink, comes over, takes a selfie later, and, and leaves. But it was just one of those weird situations to where I'm like, this is – so weird. It doesn't happen very often. You didn't but when offer it does, an autograph? No. Oh. No. <laughs> Fuck. I don't even ask if they want one. I, I just, just start saw, signing shit. I just, <laughs> just sign their forehead, yes, right, forehead away. right there. First thing I do. Oh, no. my God. Are you, are you JP from that podcast? Yep. And I just fucking whip out my marker and mm-hmm. sign their forehead. <laughs> oh, let me see if I got a Sharpie. Oh, shit. I got one in every pocket. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> every uh, yeah. pocket. But anyways. And we know about the pocket. If you do see us in public and, hot wheels. and come up and say hi, if we act weird, it's just because we're not expecting it. It's yeah. just kind of one of those things. So, But we are very appreciative, and we really do Look, like it. They may act weird. I fucking love you guys. <laughs> come up and say it happens to me a lot. Mm. Just come up, say hello, tell me you love me. I like to hear it. Tell me how much you hate fucking Scotty, Derek, and Jeremy, and yeah, we'll get true. along fine. And if you would have, I, I didn't catch his name. If he would have said his name, I would have written it down and given him a shout out, but I, I can't remember. The, so, the one thank time, you. One time when it happened to me, the guy's like, hey, I listened to the podcast. He didn't say he liked it. Uh, <laughs> I, I still am not sure. I, he hasn't said anything nice, so I can't really say thank you at that point. Yeah. And, uh, you just went, oh, okay. okay. Uh, I just eventually said you. thanks for listening. But, yeah, I don't uh, – he may have been coming to, to chew my ass. And then the one guy actually came to my house because he bought that fucking lawnmower jack. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And he listens to the show? Um, I don't know if he actually listens or – saw it on tiktok but oh, okay. he he came to the house and he what was it he was showing and he's like looking at me and he just goes drunk pack of cigarettes <laughs> <laughs> and it's like all right i gotta get a new address <laughs> <laughs> yeah now your house is gonna be uh-huh. on the map the star map yeah in wichita it's right yeah. <laughs> yeah me and joe walsh and you're just gonna see buses Kirstie drive Allen. by every now and then yep <laughs> people taking pictures uh, and the last thing that I did, uh, I have a friend who is like a competitive, I don't know what the tough mutter racer people that are like always really super in shape. And, uh, 
for his birthday every single year. If like today, this year was his forty fourth bir- birthday, so we have to run four point four miles, and we have obstacles in the middle of those miles that we have to do. And that was my Saturday morning, and I can barely fucking walk. But happy birthday, Steve! Really, really had a great time. Is this the guy who also eats? Go fuck yourself, Steve. Yeah, he also is a competitive eater as well. Yeah, Yeah, Steve Eater. I guess, yeah, I was pretty vague in that. I said the guy who eats as (laughs) as though that's... Yeah, he also eats. He does. He (laughs) he will consume food through his face hole. He doesn't drink. (laughs) No, he does not drink, actually. Mm. He just eats. He produces so much saliva. Yeah. Yeah. But it's been a long time, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. How have you been... Excuse me, how have you been? What are you up to? Or what have you been up to? I'm sorry. (sighs) Work. Lots and lots of work. Um, I reluctantly accepted a promotion Uh-oh. at work uh, i am now lead mechanic in my shop oh, no more cleaning up the loads whoa um no <laughs> I'll, I'll i still have to do all the shit work so if um, somebody <laughs> finds a poop on the floor do they come and tell you first I don't know. It hasn't <laughs> happened yet. Uh, I have not put the word out that that's the protocol. Okay. Uh, I went directly to my manager. I, I skipped the lead mechanic at the time. Maybe that's what they freaked out so much about was that I broke chain of command. <laughs> I don't know. Um, we'll have to find. I'm sure it's going to happen again someday probably, real yeah. soon. Yeah. Um, but no, it's... Uh, Okay, it's something that they've offered me like three or four times in the past, and I've always turned it down. And the last guy who, when I turned it down, that they put in that position is the manufacturing equivalent of 9-11. Whoa! So I didn't want that to happen again, so I accepted this time around. And basically, I've, I've been the lead mechanic in the shop for like five, six years now, just without the title Mm -hmm. uh before if somebody came to me with their problems i at least had the option to go yeah figure it out on your own now i don't have that so basically (laughs) i'm doing the same job i always was for with a little more responsibility and an almost imperceptible amount of pay Uh, (laughs) oh god so other than that uh let's see um That's one tragedy. Uh, I've been, we've been working mandatory 10 hour days yeah. at work. And so I've been going in at 4 a.m., uh, which means I have to leave my house before that. That's how time works. <laughs> and uh, when we, we here in Kansas have been going through major heat, yeah. right? Yeah. And so I couldn't visually inspect that uh, the main zone in the front yard of my sprinkler system stopped working and now my grass is fucking dead oh uh, great so yeah uh the grass that i work very hard to keep very nice all year long is now dead <laughs> what white people problems is that what you're looking yeah at dude <laughs> good for you and your grass man i don't even have grass well <laughs> yeah i mean i i don't have yard grass right it's all i fucking got all right <laughs> yeah man <laughs> It's all I have. Yeah. And I'll tell you why. Neighbors probably hate you, man. Yeah. It's the one thing that I get to be in charge of how it looks, and I fucked it up. And one of the reasons why I don't mind being here right now is because um, it has already started at the house. Oh. Halloween decoration. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Oh, wow. It is September, what, 3rd? 3rd. We are recording on the 3rd. And, um, okay, here's the thing. Compared to her Christmas shit, the Halloween stuff does not look that bad, but had I not put out that TikTok with all the Christmas trees, people would look at her Halloween shit and go, this is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, she's taking extra time off this weekend. I don't even get Labor Day off. Oh. Um, and now you don't even get Sunday off. Right. Yeah. You don't have a day off. Well, I mean, I've already worked this morning. Yeah. So yeah. I went in at four. Anyway, oh, that's, that's so another reason why Rufian and me was probably so easy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it didn't take much. You went right down. So, yeah, uh, any chance to get out of the house and away from her nonsense, because not only is she decorating <laughs> for Halloween, but also it's Harry Potter marathon. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, Jesus Christ. So I, too, have been playing a lot of fucking video games. Yeah, uh, good. I went and revisited Hitman yeah? again for the PS5. Yeah. They got a new online mode that's pretty fucking cool cool um and then let's see uh other than that i've been just uh watching some tv when i get the chance yeah um me and my wife binged uh succession okay have you seen that no have you heard about it vaguely 
Yeah, it's about this um, family-owned uh, media empire. Um, it's just this family of maybe the worst people in the world. Mm. Like, every one of them is... A German? <laughs> oh, thanks. No, they're not podcast prodigies. They're just now getting into the podcasting world. Oh, uh, God. Um, yes. so you, they need to call me is what's happening. Yeah. You could give them some advice. I could. Give them pointers. But yeah, every any one of the characters would be the horrible bad guy in any other show. But instead, you basically just find yourself from week to week rooting for whoever's the least evil that fucking week. <laughs> it's um, it's a weird fucking show, and it's not at all relatable. Uh, it's got Kieran Culkin in it. Like Macaulay's sister? Yeah, no, Younger brother. brother. Oh, got and it. And boy, is he a fucking odd duck. <laughs> but yeah, well, we sat through all four seasons of that. I mean, like more than just his normal self. Mm -hmm. Like he's a complete sexual deviant. Oh. Um, he can't get off on regular sex. Can't even fuck women unless they pretend to be dead kind of thing. Whoa. Yeah. Wait a minute. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're saying that's not normal? <laughs> oh. He doesn't get fucked. Oh. He actually does the fucking oh. by the dead. Mm. That's opposite of you, wow. JP. Yeah. Oh. Uh, let's see. I yeah. also, um, there's a show on Apple TV called Physical. Good show. It's got Rose Byrne and uh, Roy Scovel in it. And it, it is good. It is good. Uh, I like it. It's not the comedy that I thought it was going to be. It's pretty fucking dark. It's really dark. It kind of goes into the mind of uh, somebody with bulimia. Mm. But it takes place in the very early 80s. And it's interesting. And I, I'm, I'm into it. I believe this is the final season of it now. But um, I would suggest it to anybody. While you're on the topic of Apple TV, yeah. can I just tell everybody, if you have seen Ted Lasso, watch it all the way through the first time, uh -huh. watch it all the way through three more times, you pick up on shit you missed. Oh, yeah. It's so fucking good. I, we tried to tell I, you. I am so sorry for not believing you guys that said, dude, Ted Lasso is one of the best shows of all time. I am here to tell you, yes, it is. It is and if you want to fight me f for disagreeing with me, fuck you. I'll beat the shit out of you. It is so no, good. No, you won't. I will. You won't. I've asked you to do that so many I times. I will cheat, but I will do I it. I will do it. Uh, no, it, it is fucking phenomenal to the point that I'm now in another fantasy football league and all of our team names are Ted Lasso references, right which on. is fucking awesome. Uh, one of the team names is Whistle, whistle. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's, that's my wife's team name. It's great. Dude, that's great. It's awesome. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, just sorry for interrupting you there, Jeremy. I was pretty much done. Okay. <laughs> fair I'm, I'm still shaking off the roofie. <laughs> okay, yeah, fair it, enough. It'll fuck with you for the, a few hours. Sure the roof will. is on fire. That's yeah. right. Well, happy to have uh, both of you in here, but definitely happy to have uh, Jeremy Joseph back. That's awesome. JP. Wow, that's a that's really a fucking slam on you. <laughs> uh, that's you what just I'm here saw for. me last weekend at the fantasy football. Class, I know, Daddy. I know. Jeremy got a D minus grade from sure Yahoo, Yahoo Sports, <laughs> and I'm even hey. going. That's not correct at no. all. No, no, no. The person who probably had the lowest grade that I would have given anybody in the league got an A+. Plus. So, you know, it's uh, it's not uh, not correct in that regard. Uh, but we do got some current events to get to to get this show rolling. Uh, first things first, uh, I wanted to give an uh, unfortunate shout-out to Mr. Jimmy Buffett. Uh, he, he passed away. So, uh, you this know. This has been a fucking, like... A very short period of time with a lot of weird deaths. It has been. Now, Jimmy Buffett doesn't surprise me. I think he lived kind of hard. He was a little hard on his liver, I believe. Yeah, a little bit. <sighs> um, but Bray Wyatt? Yeah, Bray Wyatt was scary. Um, let's see, who else? Pee Wee Herman? Yeah. Uh, Donnie Baker? Yeah, Donnie was rough. That was the one. I, we wanted Ron to Sexton. wait. Sexton. Yeah. Yeah, we wanted to wait for you uh, to come back for Donnie Baker, but but, you know. And all of I these worked are with him once, and he was a very nice man. All of all of them were heart attacks, or at least a large majority of them were heart related. Hmm. That's were they? Weird. That's weird. That's hmm. odd. Yeah. Huh. Hmm. Yeah. Anyways, uh, way so, to bring it to an ass grinding halt. Sorry. <laughs> well, you haven't been here on the last couple of weeks, uh, but anyways, uh, I did want to move on to. Uh, there has been some baseball news I thought was actually really cool. Uh, Atlanta Braves Ronald Acuna um, gets uh, married. And on the exact same day, becomes the very first player to steal 60 bases and hit 30 home runs 
in one season, he did all that all in one day. All 30 home runs and 60 bases. No, he got married and then changed uh, baseball history, which I thought, that's a that's a busy day. You know what I'm saying there, JB? Here's, here's a, why the fuck would you get married on a day that you had to play? Uh, yeah. Man, How did he get away with that? How did he tell his wife, listen, hun, it's been fun today. I got, I got to go I play ball wear, with the guys. I would get into a tux and all, but I've got to wear my uniform. I've got to jet mm-hmm. out of here right after we say the whole I do's. And, <laughs> I got a game to go I'll, to. I'll put on well, the tux, but I'm wearing my cleats. Yeah, exactly. I, I think, you know, some people's wives are cool. I, I'm like, my wife's cool. She would totally understand that. I well, guess your you wife can always is, say. Your wife, there's something wrong with yes. your wife, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I, she may be a zombie or Are you holding hypnosis. her here against her will, dude? Be honest. She's not even here. She's not even home right now. She's I wouldn't freedom. be either. Well, she can leave whenever she wants to. So uh, she, did you, have you told her that? Yes, as long as she texts me to let me know where she's okay, going. Okay, <laughs> right. Yeah. Don't worry. I like can a, track her. Yeah. A long-range shot collar on her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Something's up, man. Something like that. Uh, but no, I mean, some wives are actually really cool. Like, I've recorded I, podcasts on my wife's birthday, our anniversary, and she didn't get mad. She understands. I, I guess if she starts bitching, you can be like, uh, I got to go do that thing that paid for this fucking wedding. <laughs> right. That's right. You know that thing where you don't have to work? That's it. I got to go do that now. Yeah. Why did we move the podcast till today? Um, because, well, not necessarily. Well, oh, yeah, because we're getting the house fixed. Okay. That's why. So you can move the podcast if it's a little inconvenient <laughs> for you. But if it's your anniversary or her birthday, she can go fuck herself. Uh, I, I, this, and, uh, scheduling, man. Yeah, yeah. Well, I hear you. I also got to go off of what your guys' schedules are. And no, so, right. Blame us. That's, that's good. <laughs> Real cool, man. That's what I do, man. Yeah. Uh, but so, yeah, hey, congratula- congratulations, Ron Acuna. Yeah, good for you, uh, Good Ronald for you, Acuna, buddy. Yeah. I heard he listens to the show. He does. He does. Um, yeah, him and, uh, him yeah. and Mike. Him Trout. and that guy from fucking... Buffalo Wild Wings. Yeah, that guy. That's our two. That's, that's our two. That's it. That's it. Uh, let's see. Oh, um, I do obviously want to give a big, huge, like, I don't even want to say shout out, but uh, my my Detroit Lions, when this episode airs, will uh, it'll be one day before the season for the NFL kicks off. And then we have the Detroit Lions in Arrowhead against the Kansas City Chiefs, who Jeremy does not like anymore. I don't dislike them. I just don't root for them. Okay, and and you've got to come, like, explain. They won the Super Bowl. You hate the fat coach. Yes. But I, but, but what, what where's this breakdown? I was shocked at the draft. Well, okay, I made my decision to stop rooting for them. I, I made the decision I will not root for them again until Andy Reid is gone. Mm. Andy Reid has thrice... In three his times. career with the Chiefs, blown three score leads in playoff games. Okay. Playoff fucking games. One of which, had they just knelt on the fucking ball the entire second half, they would have won. That's how badly he's blown these fucking games. Anybody else who does their job that badly with that much on the line would have been gone a long fucking time ago. Yes, I realize he's won two Super Bowls. He has had a lot of regular season success, but that's because his he coaches for teams that go out and get him the best fucking players. Mm. They break the bank for him. I think he's an excellent talent scout. He knows how to draft well, but he sucks at having his players ready to play. Okay. That's the only way that that happens, that teams come back on you like that. One of which, the Bengals, two were the Colts, and one was to the Bengals, who had just beaten them the exact same way one month prior in the regular season. You knew it was coming, and you fucking didn't get do anything about it. But I'm going to play devil's advocate here, and because there's a whole bunch of people that say that Andy Reid is questionably one of the best coaches ever of all time. That's what a lot of folks say, especially when you look at his record. Even his players. Even say his that. players love. They love say he's Andy a Reed. great guy. Yeah, my uncle Jack is a great guy. <laughs> that doesn't mean I want him coaching my fucking NFL team. The the game where they lost against the Bengals. Mm-hmm. Before the game, they asked him, "What did you tell your players before the game?" And he said, "I just told them, you know, go out and have some fun out there." Fuck you, Andy. Okay? <laughs> Fuck you. Keep that bullshit in Pop Warner where it belongs. Okay? These are professionals. And even the lowest paid players on this team will make more in one season than the average person will make in a decade. Okay? This is their fucking job. 
I have worked in the aircraft industry for 25 years, and I can count on no hands all the times my boss has told me to go out and have some fun out there. <laughs> this is that fucking job. <laughs> Quit giving up before the fucking game is over. Uh, but right. because of that, um, if Andy Reid were a... Okay, here's my way of looking at things. A great coach can win championships when they don't have the best players. This is true. I'll if give you, you that. have a good coach, he will win championships when he has the best players. If you have the best players and you continue to fucking lose, <laughs> you're a shit fucking coach, and the wins that you've had have come in spite of you, not because of you. This is also the same argument I make with Bill Self on a regular occasion. So, All right, I get it. I understand. I understand. You have arguments with Bill Self? No, I use uh, Bill Self being a terrible college basketball coach because he gets the best players every single year and still somehow finds a way to exit out of the college um, or March Madness and like the second round. So I do that. I, I do make that same argument. I, I can <clears throat> actually see that a little bit. I don't stick up for Bill Self in any way. But like in that tournament, you play one game usually against a a very mediocre opponent, and then you have to like turn around and play another one two days later. And so you don't have necessarily adequate time to prepare, and maybe they catch you off guard with something. And in basketball, it really is much more dependent on if the shots are falling. Sure. Um it does seem to happen to him a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, I more question his ethics. Oh as yeah, a definitely. Coach yeah, than, that's true. Than anything. Um, but no, Andy Reid. Anyways, yes, I realize that the Chiefs still went on to win a Super Bowl, but I made my stance. Cool. And yeah, so I I'm not coming back around. Yeah, and it is. It is a business. This is their job. They're professionals yes. to the point where I'm going to move on to my next point, which is. Uh, the uh, Jaguars head coach, Doug Peterson, actually cut his own son, Josh Peterson, on an NFL cut date for, uh, for the Jaguars. So he thinks of it as a business. This is a professional job. If you cannot do the job, he going to cut you, no matter what, even if he's your own son. So good for you, Doug Peterson. I'm guessing that him being his son, he was actually being held to a higher standard. Probably. Because if he kept him on the team and he was not good enough, that would look really bad on Doug Peterson, I've, along with everything else Doug Peterson does. I heard, actually, that they found a giant stash of cocaine somewhere in the locker room, and it was everywhere, and that's why they ended up uh, getting rid of him. Nah, he'd have a lot more energy if that was true. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm, I, I, I have you're never thinking heard of the White House. Oh, maybe that's what it was. My bad. Yeah, I think Sorry. you're thinking about the White House, I, I, and I, nobody got in trouble for that one. <laughs> I because they couldn't figure out who's it was. <laughs> who right. was it? Turns out it was the head of the DEA. Oh, uh, so yeah, Anyways. it was all evidence, guys. It was yeah, all it's evidence. all evidence. It's all in the evidence um, locker. They just now. hadn't checked it into the evidence locker, yeah. right? But given that I have never heard of Josh Peterson, I'm going to guess that it was because of his old man that he was there in the first place. Probably. Uh, I don't even know where he went to college or where was he a rookie this year? I don't know. I have no idea. I, I know just, Doug I Peterson was a shit coordinator. Oh uh, well, he's a decent coach though. I like him. Okay, I like him. Uh, yeah, and the Jaguars are going to be dangerous in that. That's their division this year, I think, in my opinion. But we did have the start of college football on Saturday. Sure we had college game day was back. It was excellent. It's so great. Uh, I um, I am. I not didn't watch it. I was busy working. Yeah, that's true. I feel bad for you. Um, but no, we had college football back for the first Saturday, and everybody says last Saturday it was technically on. I don't count that. I think that's bullshit. Um, and there weren't supposed to be any, like, super big games. Like, there was no games where it was a top 25 against a top 25 this week. Not a single one. Usually isn't week one. Week one, right? But we still had some very surprising uh, results, in my opinion. I, uh, I have to say that I was not sold yet on uh, Coach Deion Sanders, Coach Primetime, going to Colorado. I have changed my tune quite a bit. Uh, I was very shocked that the Colorado Buffaloes go in after their last season of only winning. Did they win a game? I think they maybe. I think they only won one game. I could I be know. wrong, but they go into TCU, who was in the national championship game last year, and it was a great game to watch. First off, if you watch the whole game, it was an absolute treat for college football. It was great, but. 
the Buffaloes end up walking out with a win, and that is impressive all in itself. I think JP said that there was something on DraftKings that if you put how much down or what was the was, bet? I think it was five for five hundred. If I'd have put five hundred on it, five hundred dollars to what? If they won four games, if they won, if they won more than three games, more than three. So games. if they won more than three, so four games, and it paid out like seventeen thousand or something. That's insane, dude. Of course they're going to win four games. I know, well, but not, I, now, now we've seen that, but everybody's sitting there like, okay, yeah. D, coach, coach Primetime comes in and he legitimately tells all of the players that were were uh, Colorado Buffaloes last year. Pack your shit and get the fuck out of here. Yeah. He brings in 86 guys, new guys for Colorado. One of them being his son, who's the quarterback. The quarterback. And and, uh, and it, you're like, oh, my God, favoritism? Come the fuck on. Like, also, another one is... Uh, uh, and There's also a guy, last name Hunter, I think, who's playing both. He's playing wide receiver yeah. and a fucking cornerback. No, but don't they, isn't there another one of his kids? Yes, uh, and I believe so, and I don't even know. I believe he's a wide receiver. I don't know for sure, but uh, yes, I want to. It doesn't matter. It, it yeah. really doesn't matter. It, the whole point is, awesome. is you're like we're watching this game, and all of a sudden, this is fucking impressive all in itself. And now I'm guessing that that bet that of them winning possibly, or if they're winning more than three or more games, I bet you that bet's fucking gone now. Oh, it is. I checked. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it's gone. So yeah. So uh, hats yeah. off to Whoever Colorado got it on that. and good, for you. The good. And the other thing I saw was it's going to be damn near impossible to get a ticket at the home game uh in uh boulder colorado and i believe they play nebraska who also is not going to be probably too terribly good this year either i can get so, you a ticket i'm sure you can i think people are still going to be very disappointed uh this is like kind of one of those things that sets them up for surprise and it's just gonna fuck them up yeah you gotta ride the lightning uh, man I don't have to do a fucking thing, Scotty. This is America. <laughs> yes, yeah, true. Coming up on Labor Day where we honor our troops. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. so... God rest their souls. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, uh, <laughs> I think there's a few things. One, I think TCU came into this very overrated. Uh, TCU obviously overlooked them. I still think they're probably a better team. Um, but when you bring in all new players like this, there's no game film. There's no very little prep. Yeah, you can that's watch. True. You can watch, you know, some shit from Jackson State, I guess, which is where Dion came from, right? Right, right. And so, you know, I mean, you can get some of his coaching tendencies, but because I, I think they are attributing a lot of TCU's success last year to the coach and not they're kind of ignoring the fact that he had some real horses last year mm -hmm. that could really play and a lot of them are gone now. Yeah. Uh, I think they're probably middle of the pack Big 12. Yeah. But we have a very long football season ahead of us. I'm very excited. Uh, Jeremy, are you very excited with your with your K-State Wildcats? I saw that they kind of put a stomping on somebody. Yeah, they uh, played CMU. Uh, yeah. What? CMU, Southeast Missouri State. Oh, okay. Um, Makes more sense now, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it sure yeah. does. <laughs> hey, that ain't my word. That's what they call themselves. I saw, no. Oklahoma, um, I saw Oklahoma played Arkansas State, who's yeah. Division One, and beat They're them. They're like SEC team, I believe. 70-something. No, I know no, they're not. I believe they are. Are they really? I think they're in the SEC. I don't think so. Because K-State's played them a couple of times, and oh. that was the Big 12 SEC matchup. Okay. Unless they've left to make room for OU. I don't know. But, yeah, I think OU really wants to come in with a bang. They came in. They are not happy with last year. I get, apparently, it was 70-something to nothing. 73 oh, to nothing, I believe. Fuck you. It was um, 45 to nothing at halftime. That I mean, and then they started putting in, yeah. like, third and fourth stringers, and they still didn't score. So, yeah, it'll be a fun, fun season. I, um, I know with K-State... I feel very bad for the starter, starting quarterback, Will Howard. Uh, he's He might well be in the NFL come next year. He's a very good quarterback. But late in the game when they were up like 35 to nothing, they put in their backup, uh, a local kid who from Wichita oh, went to oh, Mays yeah. High named Avery Johnson. And, I mean, the place went nuts because there's this huge buzz around him. He was one of the top dual threat prospects coming out of high school last year and he lived up to it he is electric i mean he is so athletic and so fast and i mean handled himself with such poise in the, oh, in the God, pocket keep talking and uh oh. hey i'm not tim grubbs here uh, <laughs> <laughs> but i mean that first time that he comes Johnson's in grubbs and 
you'd like this kid. Long fucking hair. I want to punch him. No, I do <laughs> like him. Oh, I, I know who he is. I've seen him play high school football. I've Have seen you? him play college football. Yeah, he is phenomenal. You haven't? Well, did you watch him yesterday? Yeah. Because that's the only time that he's played college football. Yeah. Okay. You, you act like you watched him all through his college career, no. which I guess you have. Uh, no, since but I mean, I, yeah. Okay. One day. My, my One nieces day. and nephews all went to May, so I know who he is. I watched him okay. play football. Well, yeah. Um, he's fucking phenomenal. So Will Howard is probably going to have a pretty good year, and he's going to be overshadowed, and people are going to keep wanting him to put this fucking kid in who's 18 years old. I think they're still planning to redshirt him, even though he legit has the, the number two quarterback spot cracked up. Yeah. So, uh, so, but I, I like. I think as long as he doesn't play more than four games, much like Colorado, yeah, um, he he can still redshirt. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Well, that is the current events for this week. Hope Thank everybody God. has a, has a, or had a great. Uh, He's not a prodigy for nothing, folks. Right? Can't uh, even say had a whatever. Had a great Labor Day weekend, and uh, have you have, hope you have a fun time for the kickoff of the NFL season. Uh, fantasy football is officially underway. Uh, but now we get to move on to the fun parts of the episode. We get to go to overrated or underrated. Guys, if you have any suggestions for this, you can send or suggestions for any of these segments. You can send them to us on uh, Twitter slash X, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Um, and that is at LOT sidelines. You can also send it to our Instagram, which is at laughing on the sidelines. And uh, if we like your uh, suggestion, we'll give you a shout out on the show. Uh, we're going to start with the very first one. Do you think anybody's ever going to stop calling it Twitter? Uh, maybe. I don't know. Okay. I really don't know. Uh, anyways, uh, first one, overrated or underrated, breaking boards and karate. <laughs> karate. Overrated, man. What? Uh, whoop de doo Break a fucking slab of marble. Okay. Then I'll be impressed. All right. Uh, boards. Yeah. I think the, th the ones that I think is absolutely amazing is like whenever they do the competitions and they have those like long selfie sticks that are like 15 feet up in the air yeah, with a board funny. attached to it. And then they have like like three or four people that somehow vault this kid and make it look like, like uh, what is it? Crouching tiger, hidden Dude, dragon, dragon. Yeah. Up these fucking people and then break a board. Yeah. And I'm like, man, that's amazing. But yeah, that wouldn't work in a fucking fight. It's overrated. Fuck right. that shit. Yeah. Jeremy, it is overrated as fuck. Now breaking boards in Taekwondo. Fucking awesome. Okay. Uh, karate though. No, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I used to do Taekwondo. I used to break boards. It is a fucking cool feeling when you do it, especially if you can do it with something with your hands. Yeah. Uh, I, my record was four. I punched through four boards once. Um, is it like balsa wood? No pine. Oh. Um, the, there is a little bit of a, a trick to it. If you, you got to hit it in the right they spot, the but <laughs> yeah, they cut the boards first. <laughs> yeah. For little kids, yeah. But for me, no. Uh, no, that's not how that works. And I don't do comedy. Uh, not when it comes to my martial arts career. Okay? We don't joke, uh, 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 we we don't don't joke about that. I was very serious into that. Um, but no, it's uh, basically you have to use solid wood. You If if you really want to fuck with somebody, get plywood because uh, that don't work at all. But no, solid wood, the grain goes all the way through. So all you have to do is get it to start breaking and it'll split right on the grain hmm. um that's how that works but you do still have to hit it right okay it's it's not about how hard you hit it it's about hitting it in the right place okay have you seen the boards they have now that are re-breakable they're like yeah uh, that's the practice boards that they do because yeah, wood cool. is very expensive yeah. it uh my my instructor was like yeah every oh, time we like, break yeah. a board a real one he's like that cost me two dollars <laughs> <laughs> <Fuck. laughs> so so yeah, he had one that you could put back together yeah, that simulated cool. it. Yeah, yeah, and of Simulation. course, and, and you got to break the shit out I of I built one my of those. deck out of those. You yeah. got to also think, you know, Steve Urkel always said boards don't hit back, so you got to be, you know, you got to be ready for that. So, are you sure that's him? Steve Urkel yeah, said that. Urkel said that. When Jaleel White. And Family Matters. Whenever he transformed into the little magic thing and became uh, Steve Urkel, Bruce Lee esque kind of a person. Well, if you've ever fucking dragged your knuckles on a shattered piece of fucking wood that's like that you're going through yeah. and it cuts the fuck out of you, yeah, they kind of do hit back. <laughs> okay, fair or enough. Or not gone, gotten one to break. <laughs> 
It, I believe that was Stefan. Oh, was it Stefan? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah that's why Stephon. we didn't know what you were talking about. Touché. That was Stefan Urkel. They're two different people, Touché. Scotty. Touche. You were correct. How did that guy never win an Emmy? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows, man? It's, it's a mystery. It's a mystery. Uh, next one, overrated or underrated? Sneaking on to the set of 101 Dalmatians with peanut butter on your balls. Uh, overrated. Why? Because it makes me think of furries and it just gives me the creeps. <laughs> it gives me the fucking creeps, dude. What is wrong with us gay men? <laughs> oh man. Oh. Uh, I don't I don't get it. I don't like it. Yeah, it's over- overrated. It's definitely overrated. These are 101 Dalmatian puppies that probably don't know how to be gentle. I think your nuts are in trouble. So I'm gonna go overrated. Jeremy? Underrated. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Simply for the fact that that was a cartoon. So if you do this, you're coming into like a fucking artist studio <laughs> where a bunch of people are just trying to draw pictures, and I got head. my balls out with peanut butter on them, <laughs> going, "It's snack time, motherfuckers!" <laughs> Ants on a log, bitch. Oh Jesus Christ! And there's always one taker. Yeah, there always is. Okay, next one. Overrated or underrated? Lubricant that looks like Nickelodeon slime. Underrated. What? <laughs> I was did I was hanging out with this guy one time who had a UTI. Oh, gross! No, 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 no! Absolutely not. No. Okay, never mind. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking thank God. So he was self lubricating then. <laughs> Jeremy got there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Jeremy. My pleasure. That's that's uh, that's why I'm a legend. That is why you are a legend. Oh God, okay, damn. I've given my and answer. you you cannot spread a UTI to the anal canal. It won't work. <laughs> Those are two work. different nope. holes. Oh, that's absolutely disgusting. I would love to say I didn't see this coming, but I sure did. <laughs> uh, but no, it's way overrated. You do not want that to look like that it, that is absolutely disgusting plus i mean it's not like it definitely doesn't make it look any better it looks way worse in that particular regard so absolutely not this is overrated jeremy uh what's the question again <laughs> i said overrated or underrated green cum oh wait no lubricant that looks, that like, looks like nickelodeon slime. slime i don't know <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, that was that was the phrase to that's, get slime yeah, dumped on sure you. Well. Oh yeah, you can't it do was. That on television. Sure that's well. right. Yeah, good for you. Um, what do I give a fuck what it looks like? <laughs> I don't know. I'm I, either stroking or fucking. <laughs> if I've got lube, uh, lube's out. It's a good day, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, it's true. Oh, that's disgusting. All right. I. Well, by the way, you don't want to use actual Nickelodeon slime. Uh, oh. Turns out it was primarily oatmeal. Oh, gross. Yeah, so it wouldn't lubricate very well at all, <laughs> but it is very nutritionally full. So uh, so you could eat it. Yeah. That's disgusting. Yeah, you could have a snack while you're fucking. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. I don't think I should eat it. I don't because either. because of the color. Oh, uh, that's disgusting. That's the, my Normally, wife, I would eat it. That's uh, my wife's special ingredient on her cookies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's gross. That she used to take up to the loony bin all the time. Mm-hmm. Great. Used slime. Well, they were fu- they're fucking delicious. So <laughs> yeah, I don't they give are. a fuck. <laughs> okay. You're that, tasting my infections. If Scotty Puke shows over, right? <laughs> yeah. Come on, keep going. That is the rule. <laughs> yep. No. Uh, next one. Overrated or underrated? Love at first sight. JP? <laughs> I mean, there is no such thing as love, Scotty. Is there not? No. I don't know. I I, I think there's that, infatuation. Well, and then it's and just that's a little f- creepy, right? And then there's nothing. And uh, then there's it, lust and then at first sight. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's true. That is true. But I don't think it. Which I think is what most sight. people substitute because right. um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, love is not something you should rush into. Mm-hmm. I found that out the hard way on a number of occasions. From what I've heard, only fools rush in. Oh, yeah. Who That's said that? Was a wise man? Why, very wise man. Three of them. <laughs> That's who it was. All right. Which would you like better, the Elvis version or the UB40 version of that song? <laughs> um, 
Which, by the way, if there are two I like artists the Justin who Bieber cover, version better. Oh, did he do it too? Mm-hmm. I'll be goddamn. Mm-hmm. Now he was one of the founding members of UB40, if I recall, right? Yes, yes, he was. Yes, yeah. So I guess I'm going with UB40, Scotty. <laughs> uh, yeah, love it for sight. Definitely doesn't exist, and I know for for my personal experiences, um, my wife and myself, we fucking hated each other the first time we met. We did not like each other at all. And now it's just a one way street. And now and how she hates you and you love her. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Uh, so it doesn't exist. Love at first sight. Whenever it's oh, it was love at first sight. I call bullshit. I call bullshit. So overrated. Yeah, you were physically attracted to someone, then Correct. got to know them, and turned out they were somebody you could fall in love with. Yeah. You got lucky. Most yeah. of the time, that don't happen. Yeah. I see lots of women I'd like to fuck all the time. All the time. All the time. <laughs> well, men for you. Right. Right. But like, I, I always, was hoping he would go with women, actually. I always hear those. I'm really close. <laughs> I'm tell you what. I always hear those like handed down from generation to generation stories from like like uh, the war or the soldiers over in Vietnam that they go to some like public event in Vietnam and the and a soldier looks over and sees a beautiful woman and says I'm gonna marry that woman she's beautiful she's amazing and I'm gonna marry him and she, he thinks that that's love at first sight but what she is actually seeing is different uh, she's looking at us citizen. she's looking she's in love with your green card <laughs> that's exactly right and so, maybe she might like you yeah she might put up, up with you for a little while um, so yeah yeah and by the way if you say it enough mm -hmm. eventually it might come true i mean there's a decent chance sure it could uh and last but certainly not least overrated or underrated surprise sex that's a stupid fucking question. <laughs> I don't know. We call that rape in other places. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I mean, just stuck her in before she could say look, no. <laughs> call it. Surprise. <laughs> call it whatever you want. I'll take all of it. <laughs> oh, shit. No sex is bad sex as far as I'm concerned. Uh, that's. I definitely think there's such thing as bad sex. I mean, yes, but. The opportunity to get it isn't bad. It just happens to be the person you're with doesn't isn't very good at it. See, I have I don't know. It's not man. like it's like oh surprise I'm gonna fuck you and you're like no I have plans. Yeah, like uh, there are definitely certain times where this is like oh yeah this is great like when you wake up to a blowjob that's like the best thing ever right. But then there are other times wherever, like, you come home, you've had a rough day, and all of a sudden, your wife comes out in lingerie and wants to fuck you. And I'm just like, I do not want to do this right now. I am pissed off, and I don't want to. So, yeah, I'm going to say this is, uh, this is overrated. Jared? That has never once happened to you. It's never <laughs> once happened to him never at all. Fucking, you are trying to make you, yourself yeah, sound man. like you are Joe Cool over there. It has happened three times, and uh, twice was a good time, and once was not in the mood. Whatever there, PP. Listen. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. Is, that's what she's really attracted to, your podcast. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She's a yeah. big fan. Did you meet her at Buffalo Wild Wings? Sure <laughs> did. <laughs> uh, okay. I don't like it, and I'll tell you why. Okay. I mean, okay. Because the, you have to take that pill, and it takes an hour <laughs> <laughs> before you're ready. 30 to 45 minutes. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's, it's some pretty fast-acting stuff. Yeah. I crush it up and snort it. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I just... <laughs> I just put it into a bowl of water and then suck it up through my yes. asshole. Oh, gross. Now, I do enjoy the idea of being surprised by that we're going to have sex, but the spontaneous... I need a shower, and I don't give a oh. shit what I've been doing. If I've been out of the shower for more than 15 minutes, I need a shower. Mm -hmm. I, I have... Uh, if I wear jeans during the day, uh, I don't know if that smells coming from my balls or my asshole. Um, <laughs> if you need me to, I could investigate. Oh, gross! If I can smell me while fucking, that's a real turn off. Yeah, oh, yeah, that'll do it. Yeah, that's okay. a great answer, man. Thank that you. Is, that is. No wonder you are who you are. You I'm a myth. I mean? You are a fucking myth. <laughs> He's a legend, man. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, that is overrated or underrated. Again, if you have any suggestions, send them to us. But now we get to move on to JP's very favorite segment of every single episode. This is called That's Where I Draw the Line. Love you, it. you can have suggestions for this. In fact, send them to us. We would love to see some suggestions for I this. I did, and then you changed it I and did. fucking put it on your, you know, whatever, I, man. I, I did. I did. Yeah, but, cool. you know, we're going to have fun with this one. 
Oh, we um, always do. Yeah, where do you draw the line with some of these things? It's really simple. If you can't figure it out, tack hammer time, okay? Uh, we're going to go to the first one. Uh, where do you draw the line? What is the age that it is unacceptable to make fun of a kid who pees his pants? Dude. Dude. There have been times where people who are super, super drunk in their 30s and 40s do do this. Oh, yeah. Right. I right. think we're talking about a totally lucid. I know. I know. We're getting there. Uh. But we're talking like, okay, children who are on the uh, first grade to second grade level who pee their pants. I, I think, uh, plus, you know, if you wet the bed kind of thing, that's like one of the, the triangle of death for serial killers, too. So you got to keep that in mind. Wait, it's wait the minute. least wait, 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 indicator wait, wait, wait. of <laughs> bed wetter. Mm-hmm. Uh, Bedwetter, obsessed with fire and cruelty to animals. You went to bed when you were a kid, didn't you? Beat the shit out of my dog and set my house on fire. Oh, God damn it. Uh, Woo! While the, in bed. All the same day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just like uh, right, Ronald but, Acuna. <laughs> yeah. I hit the triple. I hit the triple <laughs> yeah, digits. Triple crown. Triple crown. But your bedwetting was out of laziness. Probably. Or, you were wide awake. Yeah, you I just mean, didn't want to get up. That's Fair true. Enough. Fair enough. And that's how he got so into pee play. Uh, right. Uh, I think <laughs> that's disgusting. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with ten. I think once you're once you're ten years old, you are now in the double digits. I think if you were still peeing your pants by that point, I don't care. You may think that it's cool, but it's not cool to pee your pants ever. It's not no. what I heard. Yeah, me neither. I heard it's cool to pee your pants. All right, mm-hmm. if it's cool peeing your pants, you consider me everybody miles my age pees their pants. <laughs> I mean, I try to pee mine once or twice a week. I'm sure you do. Uh, but no, that's my answer. Ten years old, I think it's too much. What if someone else is peeing on your pants? Does that count? That's that's a kink. That's fine. Okay, good. Okay. Thank God. Yeah, but how well, how about you, JP? How, what's the youngest you can be? <sighs> the youngest? Yeah, you got to. I mean, you're still a kid, but whenever your parents I finally think, say, "Okay, JP, that's enough. No more pissing your pants." I'm trying to remember when I quit. That's fucking weird, dog. I'd say I seventeen. Seventeen. Yeah, if you're seventeen. And you're still pissing your pants. You should go see a doctor. <laughs> you just don't feel yeah, it. I'm guessing that's the thing, uh, Scotty. I don't think kids who piss their pants are doing it for a good time. That's true. No adults do though. <laughs> yeah. Well, some of them. Yeah. There's adults who wear diapers because they think it's fun. I Changed work a with a guy who lets that's all his disgusting. fucking cats piss his pants. That's disgusting, man. That's fucking gross, JP. That's gross. Okay. You haven't lived till you've changed a grown man's diaper. <laughs> oh, my God. No. That's something I don't ever want to experience or be alive. But anyway, JP, everybody. Yeah, there you go. There is a commercial out right now um, for, like, women's depends that are look like panties. And so that way, this woman, I, I don't know if she's widowed or what the fuck the deal is, but... She's going out on a first date with somebody, and she wants to avoid any embarrassing leakage. And so she's wearing <laughs> As one these. wants to do. And it's like, okay, but don't you think at some point you should probably tell him? Because <laughs> yeah. if this date goes well, he's going to find out you've been pissing all over yourself down there. <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> God damn it. I mean, are you if you've been pissing in your underpants this whole time and he wants to go down there, are you going to let him? Wow. At what point are you sitting in the restaurant and you're like, man, we've been here four hours. I've been to the bathroom three times and you haven't left mm-hmm. the table. Uh, what's <laughs> going on? You've had three bottles of wine. Yeah, what the hell? right. Wow. That's impressive. And she's, check out my sexy underwear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did I have my panties? Slaps him in the face with them. What's your age there, Jeremy? Um. Okay, I'm going to go... 14. 14. Whoa. 14, if you're old enough to have a restricted driver's license or you're learner's permit, your uh, you're old enough to not pee your pants. Up to that point, there can be either a medical reason or maybe your parents are just assholes and wouldn't pull the fucking car over. Yeah. So, um, yeah. But at 14, you should know yourself well enough by that point. I, I agree. And being stand-up comedians, can I ask you both a question? Um, yes, that, we pissed ourselves on stage. <laughs> <laughs> no, but if you have you ever had somebody That's who's closer <laughs> who's laughing so hard and they say to you, "It's like yes. I'm gonna pee my pants if I keep going," and I make them pee their there pants. There you go. Yes, I, that is like. That's not going to make me stop going. I'm going to milk out the nose times 10. <laughs> yes. That is, I did my job. That's no. right. 
Okay, anyways, uh, we're going to move on to the next one. The next one is, what is the maximum percent of effort you should ever give out in a co-ed softball game? 150. What? Oh, fuck yeah. This is my one chance to just fucking yell at people <laughs> and fucking try and break up double plays, hard sliding <laughs> in the second, and just really fucking going nuts on, on women because uh, they can't hit it past the fucking infield. And yeah. Jesus Christ. I want to be that asshole. <laughs> the charity softball the guy, tournament. The guy who shows up in full-length baseball pants and cleats. <laughs> Hey, got I got his own bag of bats. Yeah. I, I want to be that guy. <laughs> I got eight hundred dollars worth of DeMarinis in here. <laughs> some of them got some homers left in them. That's <laughs> fucking great. I'd never want to be that guy. Ever, ever, ever. I mean, I don't want to be, but if I have to play in a co ed softball game, I'm gonna be that That's fucking guy. <laughs> it's better to be that guy than not that guy. I I, I am thinking seventy five percent. Seventy five percent is the maximum amount of effort I'm giving out. I still want to be competitive, but I know you uh, still just don't want to be beat by a girl. No, I don't care about that's it. what no. I think. If it's a co ed tournament, it's for charity. The last thing I want to be a part of is like the team that has those two really bitchy individuals that complain about somebody not following the rules the entire time, like the fuckers that have the rule book in their back pocket yeah, going yeah, up yeah. to the umpire and going, see the rule? It's right fucking here. They should be disqualified. Fuck those They people. are the worst people, They are the dude. worst people dude, on the face of the planet. if you think it's bad in football, how about if you're fucking bowling and some guy goes, hold on, and goes to his bag and gets the fucking, fucking rule book oh out. My God. That, they are the worst are people me? on the earth. Oh. And and that's kind of why. Like I get it if it's if it's like the World Series and somebody does that, then you're like, "Okay, I understand. That's fa that's fair." But this is a co-ed charity softball tournament. Calm uh, the fuck down. Who said anything about charity? They play co-ed softball professional. I mean, this is a fucking league game, Whatever. Scotty. What Whatever. if this is a fucking this is for the championship. This see who goes into first place okay. at the end of the season. Who who gets that by in the first round of the tournament? It doesn't fucking matter to me, Jeremy. It, it should. It, it doesn't. doesn't. Well, then I don't want you on my fucking team because I only want winners. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Loser. I, I shit you not. There is a co-ed softball team that I was asked to join, and I declined, and they practiced. Uh, uh, they practiced, I think, two or three times a week before, uh, like two weeks before the actual See, game when I played some co-ed softball back in my day before it's I retired. ridiculous. Um we always practiced, but that's just because it was the closest thing we could do to play. We just enjoyed being out there playing. Mm -hmm. uh, nobody actually worked on their fucking fundamentals or anything. Mm -hmm. Nobody knew how to hit a cutoff. I mean, we got our asses kicked every fucking game, but it was fun to go out there and shag flies and True. take batting practice. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how about you, JP? What's the maximum percentage of effort you're gonna you're gonna you know dwindle I, out? I think I've got to put max effort out. Yeah, I, I, but as you, a gay man. But you are athletic and not that gay. I, as much as you try to like <coughs> own that, you are like rainbow flag Superman. But you are not that gay, bro. You're just not. <sighs> The flamers probably just flock to you on a regular basis, but that's not your thing. Yeah, I don't like that. See? And that's my it's, point. Doug Stanhope said it best. I love gay people, but I hate fagginess. <laughs> <laughs> it's aesthetically unpleasing. <laughs> so, just because I shouldn't know everything about your sexuality before I ever even say hi to you. Right. You just uh, got to get your bowling athleticism out there, and I think you're going to do just fine. Yeah. Okay, well then I, let's go 25%. 25% I think is a good round number, yeah, man, good for you, yeah. and I think that's very acceptable. Okay, all right, next one. What is why, the, why do you got to talk him out of giving good effort? The guy wants to try hard. Nope. He's I've, failed I at only every other fucking it. thing in life other right. than bowling. And I, now you know why, because I'm very easy to sway. Yeah. <laughs> like, look, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to ask you to put in less effort, and I'm like, okay, <laughs> 25%. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Would you prefer to play pitcher or catcher, JP? If I was playing at all, I would uh. be happy. Um, <laughs> but I prefer pitcher. Okay. okay. Not that I won't catch. Because I will. Sure. Well, and I'm a great catcher. Yeah. My mitt is fucking soft. <laughs> and it really holds the ball really well. Softens it with tongue oil. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> Soften it with tongue oil as much as possible. 
T U N G, you dirty motherfucker. Yeah. I know, yeah. Yeah. We're talking ball gloves here. <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh, gross. Mm -hmm. I actually, okay, I watched a video the other day when, when Scotty and I went and played catch when I was prepping up to fuck up my first pitch. <laughs> uh, yes. My, my ball glove had not been broken in, so I watched some videos about the proper uh, yeah, way to yeah. break <laughs> in a baseball glove. Yeah. And there's like these fucking special clubs. Oh, they yeah. may, I mean, the way that this guy fucking abused his glove, <laughs> you'd have thought it did something to him. But it's like, I played ball my whole life. I never did any of this shit. Yeah. I just waited until it yeah. felt right. It we looks, used to wrap it in rubber bands, yeah. put yeah. the ball in there, wrap it in rubber bands, and heat it up. Yep. Three baseballs, wrap them up in the glove, put them in the oven yep. uh, after yep. you put oil on it and stuff yeah. like that. He, he soaked it in the fucking shower. Yeah. First, I've seen that. Then, I've seen that. Like, bent it, turn it inside out and shit. And then they beat on him and with he these. He was a these Japanese guy. They beat on him with, with clubs stuff. that look like the like like a juggler from the circus. Like, yeah. they're these short yeah, yeah. bats. They look like lint rollers. Yeah. It's fucking yeah. weird. Uh, but yeah, you know, that's uh, that's okay. a base baseball thing. Uh, but anyways, we move on to the next one. Uh, what is the maximum amount of time it should take you to shit in the bathroom? Till I'm well, done. For me, I just maximum sit down amount of time. Well, well, let's put it this way. What is the maximum? Uh, what is the maximum amount of time you should spend in the bathroom pooping? Again, if you've ever done a low carb diet, you would know till you're done. <laughs> <laughs> if that takes all day, it takes all day. Okay. You're going to blow a fucking O-ring if you don't. I, okay. I, I'm all right. I, I literally shit bricks. I, I believe it. That's crazy. I ate a lot of cheese. Yeah. Stop eating bricks. Your mitt is probably got to be pretty soft, too. <laughs> It's definitely His mitt's got holes it's in it. It's definitely well worn. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm sure the ties are all coming untied and they won't stay tied. Oh, and that's yeah, so bad. Um, I, th I think, honestly, I think 30 minutes. 30 minutes is a good cutoff. That means when you're at work, at home, either way, it's that's a good rounding period. And I think if you're sitting on the pot for 30 minutes. 30 minutes. 30 minutes. I think that's good. Because if it's any longer than that, than that you're going to be standing up and face planting in the stall because mm. you can't feel your fucking legs. Yeah. You think it takes 30 minutes? minutes to take a shit no i said that's the maximum amount of time you should spend in the bathroom during a shit okay clarification okay <laughs> how much time should you spend in the bathroom jp is it from the time that i walk into the bathroom yes. or the time that i start doing my stretches before i go into <laughs> the bathroom? no it's the amount of time spent whenever uh -huh. you walk in through the stall Timer yeah, start, starts when the door locks. 15 minutes. That's right. That's right. 15. Yeah, that's the maximum? Yes. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, well, no, that's not ridiculous. How does it take you longer than that to take a shit? TikTok, motherfucker. That's why. Right, but you're not taking a shit. You're just in there to fucking yeah. milk time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Spending time and making sure. Dude, That's this is like you are legitimately in a space where nobody can bother you for how much amount of time before it's like socially unacceptable. That's just an extended break. You're not actually shitting. Yes, exactly. So you're, this said. question that you're asking is how long can you get away with saying you're in the bathroom taking a shit? How long should you get away with? Yeah. Okay, but that's not what the way. So I'm saying a half hour. Yeah, okay. I'll say a half hour. That's that's I a good amount that's... of time. You're on the phone with a with a reasonable amount of time. I'd fire your ass if you went into the bathroom every day and shit for 30 and minutes. And yet I've been there for 12 years, so it works out. Well, Jeremy, how about you, bud? When I was much younger, uh, when I first started working in aircraft, I'd maybe been in aircraft about a year. So we're looking pre-2K, pre-Y2K. So they hadn't even fixed the computers yet. Got it. Uh, pre-9-11, the world hadn't changed. Um, anyways, I... it they. The building was not climate controlled or anything that I worked at. I had not been sleeping well. Uh, I go in to take a dump shortly after lunch, which was over at like 1130. And uh, I just remember coming to to the sound of the three o'clock bell <laughs> that, you know, let everybody know, to start sweeping up. Uh, I was so fucking scared to death that somebody was going to nobody fucking noticed. Not one fucking <laughs> person noticed. However, trying to. Uh, walk out of there with both feet <laughs> dead fucking asleep. <laughs> it was like trying to walk in a fucking bounce house. <laughs> Were you high stepping a little bit just trying to? I was more like just swinging my legs, <laughs> and I fell asleep before I got a chance to shit. So I still had to shit. <laughs> so yeah, it was kind of a win lose. I got a nice nap and. <laughs> 
I was covered in sweat because it was like 104 degrees in that fucking bathroom, but I was oh, just yeah. so exhausted. I hear you. I hear you. All right. Uh, next one. What is the earliest time of the day you can start drinking before people start calling you an alcoholic? I plead the fifth. Why? Because you took my, you the, took my question. And I restructured and it. And you said you liked it. I did like it. And then you said... <laughs> <laughs> and then you killed it. I like and it. And then you came up with your own question. That's eerily similar. That is kind of similar, yeah. Uh, At what time... I'm curious about this whole pleading the fifth thing because... Um, Pleading the fifth technically means that you don't want to incriminate yourself. Right. Um, I do not want to incriminate myself. All right. You are correct. <laughs> By that, do you mean you want to strangle Scotty to death right now? Uh, I mean, yes. <laughs> yes. I'm, I'm going to plead the fifth, but because I don't feel the government should take my property without just compensation. <laughs> Very well. Scotty? <laughs> no. This We've is both a pleaded the fifth. This is a legitimate... Con this the is a fifth, motherfucker! <laughs> okay. Respect it! One, two, three, four. Peace. So I used to think... It's Labor Day. Respect where our soldiers yeah, fought man. for. Well, Labor Day is a is a lake day. That's a lake weekend. Normally, people go to the lake, and I think rules are meant to be broken at the lake. So when you're in a different atmosphere like what the lake... What the lake stays at the lake, folks. It's 100% correct. So some people are totally okay with waking up in the morning morning at like 7 30 because that's normally what time you wake up at the lake because you wake up when it's bright outside there's no lights but you wake up at 7 30 and if you don't have a beer in your hand at 7 30 you could possibly be judged as not a lake person so oh that, heaven forbid heaven forbid uh but i wouldn't want anybody to see me as not a lake person <laughs> <laughs> so that i He's think not lake people it's right and so as <laughs> as not a lake person that i am i am not um i still think noon is the cutoff if you have a beer at noon or an alcoholic beverage at noon you're not an alcoholic you're good you're fine you just drink the whole day and then when you're passed out by 3.30, then you're an alcoholic. So that's my cutoff is noon. JP? I already told you I refused to answer this question <laughs> because you butchered it. Hey, uh, what's the earliest you can smoke pot? I never don't. <laughs> okay. What do you mean the earliest? Well, yeah, what time do you smoke pot? Like wake and when bake? When I wake up. Okay, wake and bake. Until I go to bed. DJ. Jeremy? Oh, I'm a potaholic. Yes, you are. And that's am. totally fine. I accept you for yeah. who you are. Thank you, Scott. Gay and pot smoker. <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Faggot and pot smoker. <laughs> I know. I know he's. A, I know he's a faggot that smokes a lot of pot. But I like the kid. Uh, I love the guy. <laughs> I've just. I've actually just found a new way to <laughs> criticize <laughs> people. I can. I can be like, we just had new neighbors move in. I don't know what I think about them. They're not lake people. <laughs> they're not, yeah, <laughs> they're not, they're not lake people. They don't look like lake people. One of my best friends' dad. When they, he found out I was gay, oh, like God. my best friend, like he, he, he's like, man, dad, you know, we got to tell you something. I went to Colorado to visit him. This is long after high school. Yeah. So we've known each other for a very long time. And he goes, I just want to, you know, Jason and I just want to tell you that he's gay. And he just fucking sat there for a second and he goes, you know what? I don't care if he's a little queer. I like the kid. He, goes, <laughs> he can stay. Yeah. It's like, okay. Thanks. As Scotty said, you're not that gay. <laughs> you're just uh, not. Because, you know, there's varying degrees. Top five um, favorite people in the world is JP. Look at that. That's true. I Fuck, love that. That means like number him. five. You know that, right? I don't care. I'll take it. If you were higher, at he would have said top life, three. I'll take it. Yeah. He did kind of come down from three, and that's cool. That's all right. But he's got four parents, so I'm. Um, I do. You could come to Christmas. You get five's four cool, Christmases. Right he on. used to be at three, and then he found out you're not leg people. Yeah. And then, and then, fuck yeah. yeah. Fuck. Jeremy, seriously, though, what, what's, what time is your cutoff? Well, I mean, I don't actually mind if somebody wants to have mimosas at brunch. Okay. The problem that I have, it, it's how well can you fucking hold your booze? Yeah. If you're shit faced drunk by noon, then yeah, you got a fucking problem. <laughs> Fair enough. Because that, that is something I used to do as a kid, just like drink. When I say kid, I mean like seven, eight. Uh, back back before I stopped pissing my pants. Right, yeah. Um, yeah. I no, it. I, um, okay. How do I want to put this? Uh, I used to just 
like the goal was to get drunk. Oh yeah, yeah. When I would drink. And so I would just drink until I was shit faced hammered and be passed out by early afternoon. And turns out nobody fucking likes that guy. Nobody. Um, no, not once you get past eighteen. That's the guy that gets fucked with. He's the one that yeah. gets like dicks traced on his mm-hmm. face. Yeah. Yep. I got a free pair of sandals from a guy like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then he got thrown in the lake. That was fun. <laughs> That's fun. Um, but anyways, uh, no, if if you're one of those people, then yeah, you got a problem. If you can hold your fucking booze, you drink all day, every day. I don't give a shit. That's fine. And last but not least, all men lie when they say all boobs are beautiful. When do they become not fun to look at? Uh, when you tell your friend's dad you're gay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think that's it, man. No, I mean, like, tits are beautiful. Be- boobs are amazing. They are they are uh, stress relievers. Um, they they calm people down and they shut men up. I mean, it's like it's like hunting. You know, you go hunting and you see boobs and everybody just quiets down. So, but but there are definitely times when you see a pair of tits and you're just like. Oh no, I don't want to see that ever again. No, put those away or and leave. And I think those are the ones that are looking away from each other. Those are the ones where the right ones looking way to the right and the left ones looking way to the left. Those are the ones where I know likey likey. So those are mine. JP? Um Harry Nipples? Harry Nipples do it for me. They um, that you like that. No. Oh, okay, got it. I don't like tits. You don't like tits? I mean, I, they're okay. I mean, I'm not, like, freaking out about them. Well, really. I know. I know. I get it. But I think it's probably an age thing more for me because I want them to look like Barbie. Okay. All you know right. I mean, if I, yeah. I want I want to see the titties, like, yeah. Okay. So I'd say once they start getting stretch marks and falling downwards, yeah, they're no rough. fun anymore. Yeah, those are rough. Yeah. How about you, Jerry? Like Magda from Something About Mary. Oh, yeah, once yeah, they yeah. Start looking yeah, like once that. they start looking like that, <laughs> those are like stretched implants. Yeah, those are disgusting. That's not good. Yuck. How about you, Jeremy? What's uh, what's your limit? Just so you know, when the nipples point in opposite directions, that's called the Marty Feldman tit. <laughs> 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 so, uh, okay, there's a few. Okay, if they're smaller than mine, um, Touche. Which I, I got a nice rack, I'll be honest. Yes. But, yeah, if if a woman doesn't have at least that much, put your fucking top back on. Because um, now you're just making me think you're a dude. Um, <laughs> I do not care for the extremely large, like, pizza-sized areolas. Oh, yeah. yes. Pancake nipples, gross. Yes. Yeah. Gross, gross. Yep, and, yeah, the, hairy nipples... Um, other than that, I kind of like them. I'll tell you this. The internet has kind of taken a lot of the fun out of boobs. Really? I used to like find old 80s B movies just to fast forward to the scenes with, where there's gratuitous tits and, you know, stroke off to that a lot. Uh, now I can just do it while I'm falling asleep on the toilet. There you go. Good deal. That's easy. Wow. That's what helps keep me awake. Yeah, anymore. easy cleanup that's as well. Fantastic. Absolutely. That is fantastic. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's where we draw the line on this particular subject. Uh, but again, if you have any suggestions to us, send them to us at Laughing on the Sidelines on Instagram. Don't send suggestions. He's just going to reword your questions and make them his own. <laughs> well, maybe. Can, um, can, can I? Can I? Oh, I guess we're not. Uh, yeah, we're not, not to the questions yet. We're we're we're, we're, not, we're not structured for time. If you got something, you go ahead, Jeremy. No, I, I got nothing. Okay. I was I was gonna gonna make a comment about another section of this show okay. that apparently is my favorite. It is. Um, now we get to move on to questions and preguntas, which is Jeremy Joseph's thank you. favorite. I was just segment. trying to move things along. Yeah, favorite segment of Jeremy Joseph. Again, if you have any suggestions, send them to us. We'd appreciate it. We're gonna kick this off with the very first uh, question. Uh, what is something unusual to find in the refrigerator? My fucking car keys. My car keys. My keys. Right? That's unusual. Yet I fi- I've found them in there before. It's probably one of the most common places that lost car keys are found. <laughs> it's to be so honest. stupid. It's, it's the first thing people do when they get home. They go right to the fridge. Yep. And so, yeah, it's, that's not strange at all. I, it's fucking strange. And who doesn't like a set of cold keys? <laughs> I guess I so. for one love my keys. I, I, I guess so, but that's my answer. Uh, you don't don't ever bring me a hot key. Okay, I'll try. Not, I'll try to. Remember you throw that. that fucking key in the microwave. Fuck you. Yeah, 
How about you, JP? What's weird in the in the refrigerator? Uh, I got a couple answers. One oh. of them's really funny, and one of them's really dark. Okay, so we'll go with ice. Okay, yeah, it'd be really weird to that's find a, ice. That's in a the survivor. That's a surviving right? ice cube. Yeah, and body parts. Yeah, it's, body parts would be yeah not good to find in there. I don't. That's think. Uh, that's Dahmer esque, yeah, right. right? Yeah, right, right in there. Yeah, yep. so that's There's bad. My answers, uh, Jeremy. Uh, my ten millimeter wrench. <laughs> 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 Look for that fucker for three days. Three days. <laughs> went to get a went to get it's a in coke. The, it's in the refrigerator. God damn it! And, and in the least likely place, it should have been the vegetable crisper. Yeah, I'm surprised you didn't say Christmas tree, but those probably are in your refrigerator. Uh, there might be stuff with pictures of Christmas trees on it in the fridge. Yeah, air uh, freshener of some sort. <laughs> air freshener of some sort. <laughs> okay, next question. On a scale between child murderer Lucy Letby and Jared from Subway, how much do you like kids? <laughs> uh, yeah. One being that you want to kill them and the other being that you want to <laughs> okay. have relations with them. What do you consider a kid? <laughs> uh, Under 18? Well, duh. Well, then I like them as much as Lucy. <laughs> oh, God. That's bad. No, worse to like them like Jared. Yeah, I, I think totally. so, too. Yeah, I think so, yeah. too. Yeah. I've met so many kids that if I could. Oh, man. I hate kids. I don't like kids either. I don't either, man. They're fucking stupid. Yeah. Most of them. I'm trying to, I'm trying to think here. I, I mean, if I had to molest one or kill one, I'm killing it. <laughs> I'm killing one. I mean, that's your question. Uh, no, it's really it's, the only ethical thing to do at that right, point. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Fuck. Right. I I like kids. I I just I'm gonna go with Philip and Jared. No, I'm I mean, going. He's got a basement full. Yeah. No, I, mean, I think I'm gonna go with Philip Rivers. I, I I'm gonna go with Philip Rivers. It's, Jesus, that's a lot of. Yeah. Fun kids. I'm gonna have a wow. lot of. I'm gonna have a lot of kids, but I'm I, I'm you know I'm gonna treat them good. I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna give them a great life. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go Tom Brady. <laughs> Tom Brady. Where I just kiss my kids <laughs> yeah. on the lips. Yeah. And have them sit on my lap by yeah. the pool. Absolutely. You know what? I like. I'm gonna. I like Santa Claus. I'm Santa Claus. I'm gonna. I'm gonna take them presents, but I don't want one of those motherfuckers. Fuckers ever. There you go. <laughs> I'm just gonna give him gifts. Yeah. Let him sit on your lap. Let him sit on my lap, and then kick him the fuck off with a foot to the face in the in the mall, and uh, just go. go ho ho ho. That's what I'm gonna do. How about you, Jeremy? Okay, so this is a sliding scale. It doesn't have to be one or the other. Yes, correct. Right. Okay, I'm going WC Fields. Okay, uh, go away, kid. You're bothering me. That's. Uh, <laughs> okay. I mean, I'm not gonna kill you. Probably not gonna fuck you. Um, <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Probably not, but, but you I know, mean, I don't. There's some good-looking kids out there. <laughs> Jesus Dude, Christ. have you seen them? I mean, I, I mean, can't. I can't be tell. Honest. Yeah. I can't tell they're 15 or 30 anymore. Right. They all just yeah. look young. Um, God, that's awful. <laughs> that's that is that, fucking. That's terrible. <laughs> I almost want to say edit that out, but don't. Okay. <laughs> um, We're obviously kidding. No, I mean, I find well-behaved children to be delightful. Yes, but the thing is, is even the best-behaved children. Turn into fucking assholes. Yeah. There yeah. it is. Yep. This they is why children adults. should never be allowed at weddings um, or out of the house. <laughs> <laughs> That's just kind of where I'm at. Yeah. Um, but no, I uh, I don't hate them, but I would rather maybe they weren't right by me. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> and here's what really makes that ironic. Kids fucking like me. <laughs> Kids, it turns out. Okay, my niece. Uh, of course, she's. 12 now yeah but all the time growing up it's it's my my wife's only niece and my wife tried so hard to get this kid to just want to love her and play with her and all that meanwhile i'm sitting there doing nothing turns out kids are like fucking house cats the more you ignore (laughs) them the more they want to hang out with you so she would ignore my wife altogether and then just want to come sit on my lap Mm. (laughs) very good very good uh, next question. I have a lot in common with your niece. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's disgusting. Uh, next question. Want to ignore my wife? And sit on your lap. There you go. Oh, that part too. Yeah. yeah. I get to play Santa and that's it. Uh, next one. He's not a prodigy for nothing. Folks. That, that's right. Prod- p- podcast prodigy. Uh, what? Yeah, that's what I was getting at, you <laughs> dumb fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for clarifying my obvious fucking statement. I'm P-squared. That's what I am. Uh, next one. <laughs> What animal has the best sense of humor? 
a laughing hyena. No. No. No, that's bad. That's what? even, even, I mean. They do well, laugh at a lot of shit. They, they do. do. They do. I made one laugh till he peed his pants once. <laughs> <laughs> he made, as long as he was under the age of 10, that's all that matters. Uh, no, I, I think dogs. Dogs have an excellent sense of humor. You know how I know? Because Freddy, my, my giant pit bull, my 90-pound pit bull, he will get into bed with me and my wife right before we go to sleep, and he'll cuddle up next to us. And then all of a sudden, in the middle of the night, he'll, like, move over, like, five feet. He'll be cuddling with us and then just kind of move. And then all of a sudden, my wife and I are woken up by an absolute stench of I a fucking it. fart. He rips ass. He rips yeah. ass, knows it's coming, and then moves enough to where he's like, oh, shit, that's going to be bad. So I'm going to go with dogs. Dogs have an excellent sense of humor. All right. Jeremy? Uh, duck-billed platypus. <laughs> he has to be. <laughs> if he doesn't have a good sense of humor, he ain't getting through life. Everybody's hanging shit on that. You are a beaver with a duck's bill. <laughs> okay. Fair and the males enough. have fucking stingers on their asses. They That's do. That's fucking weird. Okay. That's fine. So you are a venomous mammal with web feet and a duck's bill that lays eggs. Okay. Yeah. Weird. You are fucking nature's clown. <laughs> you are in yourself a fucking cartoon character. You are, if if somebody had to draw a fucking real life comic strip, the duck billed platypus would be what they draw. Fair enough. All right. And uh, I'm you would go with donkey. You're going to go with donkey? Okay. Yeah, because have you ever seen? They laugh. They laugh. And dude, it's hilarious. It is it's really so fucking funny. funny. And they laugh at some funny shit. They do. Yeah. But I saw Those a fucking TikTok donkey videos. Are great. I love them. Yeah, yes, they're, they're great. fucking cool animals. They yeah, really, they are. They really are. I saw somebody like uh, like touching an electric fence, and, and the, the donkey saw from a far away, and you can just hear it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah loving it. <laughs> fucking great. Okay, next question. If you're happy and you know it, blank. Suck a dick. <laughs> if you're happy and you know it, suck a dick. Okay. If your best friend's name's Rick and you're happy, suck a dick. Okay, good. That way to fail. Yeah. You got really well, close. I was close. You were I? close, but yeah. I smoked too much pot. Dude, right, you're the next weird owl. Give, <laughs> yeah. give you a little Thanks, time. That's Jeremy. perfect yeah. parody. Yeah, that was my first attempt. <laughs> yeah. That's not going to get it. Yeah, weird owl didn't write here. eat it on the first try. No. Yeah. No. No. Okay. Um, Leonardo DiCaprio didn't paint the Sistine Chapel on his first try. Right. <laughs> right. He, actually, he did. Uh, yeah, he did. They, they didn't give him multiple. Okay, you fucked up these two rooms. <laughs> Third time's the charm. John, what do you say? Here what in the do you chapel. Say, buddy? It's the biggest fucking room we got. <laughs> Don't fuck this up. <laughs> Yes, he did. <laughs> it, it, it took so much longer than what it should have. Yeah. But it got there, yeah. and it punched me right in the face. Uh, okay. Um, how about you, Jeremy? I'm stuck. What now? What's uh, If you're happy and you know it, blank. Uh, stay off fucking Facebook. Because <laughs> uh, <laughs> they will bring you down. Uh, Anytime. Like, when I got this little promotion at work, I actually was just going to put a little something on Facebook and I get on there and okay. The whole vague booking thing is still a thing. And I have yeah. so many friends who just like, I'm just really not doing well today. Uh, sure. Could use some positive vibes coming my way. And it's like, okay, something good happened to me. I guess I can't fucking share that. Cause this is fucking negative Nancy central right here. Uh, I don't want to rub my, my good thing in somebody else's face. that's having a hard time. But at the same time, when you post that six times a day, yeah. Uh, when everything in your fucking life is a tragedy, people kind of stop taking you seriously. Mm -hmm. uh, I have had to unfollow a few people, but it's like nobody's allowed to have anything good in their life because mm -hmm. uh, otherwise we might be rubbing sand in your fucking wounds. Yeah, and, and that, I think, is what I'm going to end up with. If you're happy and you know it, make the darkest joke you can possibly make um, because... I think that's what makes me the happiest is that I can actually, I actually laugh at that knowing it's a joke. And I think that people get offended by shit. It, that may, that just lets me know that I'm happier than you are. So that's, that's what I'm going to go with. Okay. Fair enough. I guess it's your fucking show. You're yeah, the prodigy. I am the prodigy. That's how it works. Mm -hmm. And last, but certainly not least, 
What cartoon character would be the worst strip club DJ? There's a lot of them. Elmer Fudd. Yeah, that'd, that'd be a good one. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome <laughs> to the stage, Wexus. <laughs> okay. Kill the wabbit, kill the wabbit, kill the wabbit. <laughs> Let's walk out of pussy. <laughs> Oh, Remember, I, Tuesday is half price lap dances. <laughs> <laughs> I say I, work for tips. Show them how much you appreciate them. <laughs> I say, I say, I mean, that is a big ass bear of titties right there, man. Foghorn Leghorn. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, we, we got it. We got it, man. And you know what? You got to just wrap it up with. It was kind of Foghorn Leghorn and uh, Yosemite, Yosemite Sam, Sam all mixed together. Oh, yeah. The Yosemite same thing. Sam would be a good one. And then you got Tasmanian Devil. The blah, 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 blah. That would be better than yeah, yeah. most of them. I thought I taught putty. <laughs> Mickey Mouse would be horrible. <laughs> That'd Aww. be a bad one. Aw, show me your titties. <laughs> Any more there, Jeremy? Uh, Ned Flanders. <laughs> <laughs> Oakley Doakley. <laughs> <laughs> Get a load of that sweater meat, fella. <laughs> yeah. How about Quagmire? No, you know what? He'd be good for like ten minutes till he jizzed, and, and then, yeah, and then, then he'd, he'd be, be gone. Over. He'd be asleep. Listen, fellas, I lost interest. I guess Jade's on stage two. Yeah, uh, yep. I think Old Man Herbert would be worse than Quagmire. <laughs> <laughs> and then and I can't do his voice too and, too high. And then Bugs Bunny. I think Bugs Bunny would be like lackluster. Just be, eh, what's up, cock? Something like that. All right, ladies. What strip clubs are you going to? <laughs> That's JP's strip club. I did that one specifically for him. Yeah, what's up, cock? Yeah, what's up, cock? All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is questions. Do you, and do you say, say, give them greetings and salutations? <laughs> you should. Just yeah, what you doing, Quick guy? handshake, yep. maybe a salute. Maybe a salute. Well, they actually like Labor Day. shake each other's cocks. Only on Labor Day. Only mm-hmm. on Labor Day. You, you got to wear white pants. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. No, you can't. <laughs> oh, you can't. Sorry, my bad. You just told a gay man to wear fucking white pants on Labor Day? My bad. Are you fucking insane? Absolutely. So you're about much. to lose your status as a prodigy. I am. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is questions and preguntas. But now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. And um, JP won. Thank, thank you all who voted for me. Please do it again this week. It was a pity vote. No, I don't care what it was. I won. It was won. a pity Man, vote. That's that's twice in like a month. It's a pity vote for the gay community, and I understand why y'all did it. It's totally fine. Cool. Totally do cool. Do we have that many gay listeners? I'm actually shocked with when I say we, I mean you. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually kind of shocked. I'm not shocked. a part of this anymore, not in a billion fucking years. JP kind of keeps them... Keeps them close, you know. He's he's teaching them, you know. Teach them how to how to make jokes. He plays them close to the tank. That's I right. do. I try. <laughs> That's <clears throat> right. I definitely try. He definitely gives his best. Uh, but yes, JP won last week's uh, draft of our favorite things that we have to plug in. It had to have been the box fan. I'm just giving it to you. You uh, think? I think it's the box. I fan. think it was the Xbox or that. It could have been that. Um, what but was I, it favorite boxes? No. Yeah. That's exactly. <laughs> yeah. No things you had to plug in. Oh yeah, so uh, that seems vague. Well, it, it's it, it, was. it was that was the idea. Mine would be Glade plugins. Yeah, cords. Yeah, cords. I love plugging in cords. Yeah, I know. Um, but yeah, you so, guys know that about me. I know. Um, but anyways, uh, so JP won the draft. I I took second, so I'll I'll get the sandwich picks this week. Jeremy gets the first pick since he hasn't been on the show for quite a while. Uh, this week's draft is going to be our favorite conspiracy theories. Favorite meaning the ones we hate the most, the ones that we could debunk very quickly, or the ones that we just love. In, um, what do you call that? Whenever you just want somebody to sit there and talk about it and talk about it so you can sh- see how stupid they are. Uh, that. That's our favorite ones. Hmm. Uh, so, Jeremy, this week you get the very first pick for your favorite conspiracy theories. Okay, well, I don't know that it's my favorite. I, I hate everything about it, but it's the one that I'm most familiar with, the moon landing hoaxers. Moon landing hoaxers. I didn't even write that one down because I knew somebody would take it before I got Yeah, there. but it's but but a good one. It's a good one. It's a good one. Jeremy could probably knock that bad bitch out in a, in a very short amount of time. Well, no, you can't. And this is 
Why? Because no matter what facts you bring into it, they will just tell you, oh, you're, that's just all the more you're drinking the fucking Kool-Aid. Oh, is that The right? more you bring into it, the more they want to fucking deny it. Okay. That's just how far they go to cover their tracks, that they got all of science behind it. Okay. <laughs> you all know, right. fuck your facts. Okay. Uh, I am... <laughs> Uh, this favorite terminology is going to get pretty loose because my my the one that drives me the most nuts. I know what you're going to say. Is those fucking flat earthers? Yeah, I, knew, I knew I knew as soon as you said this was going to be the draft. I knew that'd be I, your first it's pick. It's the first. It's always the first pick. Steve-O from Jackass has has single handedly proved that the Earth is not flat. He legitimately took a jet all the way up to where you could see the curvature of the Earth. So. I'm going to go uh, flat earthers. A lot of other people did that way first. I know they did. Uh, you know, with that whole fucking picture of the earth from, <laughs> from Apollo space. 17. Yeah. <laughs> the blue marble. It's a very famous picture. It was the first <laughs> ever actual full picture taken of the entire earth. And it is, in fact, round. There you go. Uh, JP, you get the championship picks. You get two in a row, man. All right. I'm going to go with uh, the most recent one, COVID. Oh, um, that'll be my first pick. Yikes! Oh, wow, that's that's good. And you get your second one. Uh, and then let's just let's just stick with the whole government thing and say nine eleven. Nine eleven. Oh fuck. Well, what about it? That it happened? No, <laughs> that that I it was set it up. TV. No, it, was, it happened. It happened. But it didn't happen the way that they said it happened. And there was no plane that hit the Pentagon. Sure. That was no plane. Sure. Show me the plane. Uh, well, it, show it me blew, a wing. It up. Show, me, show me a wheel. Show me a bearing. It show went, me anything. It went kaboom. I, I can't. It didn't just disintegrate. I, they, believe it or not, they didn't give me well, access to any of the Then evidence. you don't have anything to say about it. <laughs> okay. I, I forgot that, that we don't talk on this show. No, we don't. Not about, not about real shit like that. Fair man. enough. Fair Serious enough. shit. Right. Okay. Um, <laughs> All those people were actors that died. Yeah, well, most of them. All right. Same people that died at Sandy Hook. Sure. Ooh, don't you take one of my picks, motherfucker. Uh, my second pick, uh, if we're going to go anywhere, is most ridiculous. I'm going to go with the reptilian elites. Yeah, I had that one. Yeah, the yeah. lizard Illuminati. The lizard, lizard Illuminati. Yeah. You fucking crazy people. Did you see her blink I sideways? Did. I did. Yeah. <laughs> I sure did. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Uh, Lizzo and all the other that's people. Great. That's great. Uh, but anyways, Jeremy, you get back. Uh, you get two in a row, man. Uh, second shooter on the grassy knoll. Yep. JFK assassination. Grassy knoll shooter. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, let me think here. I need to look some shit up here. <laughs> I... <laughs> I may be conflating two, two different. Combine them into uh, one theories. Yeah, you could. Which I mean, here's the thing: as there is no actual fact basis right. behind conspiracy <laughs> right. theories, I can say you can do anything. Whatever. Yeah, you're yeah. right. Um, let's see. How did I spell? I'm not gonna lie; my TikTok is filled with this shit. Yeah, I just, I, love I it. just enjoy I love it. it. I, I just too, enjoy man. it. I love it. Question everything. Yeah. Okay, that's wonderful. Healthy skepticism is great, but when you're presented with the fucking facts. <laughs> that's what I like the best. If you know there's no way that it could be possible. Yet there's still people that there's are still pushing people it. Are like, I'm telling you. I'm telling yeah. you. It's this, this way. We've all been taught wrong. Yeah. But yeah. Mm. Like people are going to look at this draft and go, do these guys actually think this shit really exists? <laughs> that's <laughs> another thing I like about it. I do too. Birds aren't real. Birds aren't yeah, real. That's Fuck. a good one. I got that yes. one down. Yeah. God damn it. That was one of my oh, late my, picks. Mine too. I was saving it. Uh, yeah. Not, Not anymore. Real. Okay. Well, I, uh, I, I, I really like this one because there, there hasn't been a way to unprove it as far as, as late. Okay. But um, cloning elitists, right? So, like, Biden has a clone. Jamie Foxx actually just died recently, and that now they have him as a clone. Uh, but, yeah, cloning. Believe, uh, don't they think Paul McCartney? Yeah, Paul McCartney yeah, that's as a what, clone. That's, yeah. that's so, why he's barefoot in the Abbey Road. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm going to go cloning celebrities. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. And, JP, you get two in a row. All uh, right. I am going to go with Roswell. Damn it. Uh. 
I think that might be true. I think that one <laughs> actually, out of all the ones I've picked so far, I think that one might actually be true. Like the most true? I, yeah, the most true. I think we do Kay. have aliens and crafts. And, well, you're and, done. Uh, okay, that's fine. You're done. And then uh, chemtrails. Okay. All right. Uh, the government's poisoning us with planes. Okay. Chemtrails. Chemtrails. Okay. Um, I am going to, let's see, man, I've got a great list. You Remember, do. vote for me, folks. You do. Um, I'm going to <laughs> vote for go. me as a vote for equality. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. I almost went with that one, but I, I, I didn't. And I'm kind of kicking myself at this I, point. Uh, I saved my one. I really wanted to hoping that neither one of you would say it. So don't fuck me here. I'm going to try, <clears throat> try not to. Son of a bitch. Okay. All right. Um, I am going to go with... I really hope this one is real. I'm going to go with uh, the Tupac fake death. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're all living on an island somewhere. Him and Elvis. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I was going to go with. Elvis would be like 125 years old. He's still kicking He's, it on that yeah, beach. But Him dude. and Jimmy Buffett are hanging out together yeah, drinking right now. frou-frou drinks. Right now. People still claim to see him and not even think <laughs> twice about, one, he wouldn't look like that anymore. But, two, people make some good livings as Elvis impersonators. I was going to say, they see him a lot they, in Vegas, yeah, weirdly he's enough. Yeah, he's place. all over the place in Vegas. <laughs> Both old and fat yeah. and skinny. Yep. All right. And J- Asian. Jer- <laughs> Jeremy, Asian you get the last uh, two. You get, you get your last two. Um, okay, here's one that confuses the fuck out of me because it seems to come from the same people that Apollo 17 wasn't the last mission to the moon, that we kept sending people up there and we have a secret base. Ooh, mission moon, or okay, moon moon bases? Yeah, moon base after Apollo secret 17. Moon base. Okay, all right. Uh, and your last one. That um, Washington, D.C. is a pentagram. Oh. Have you ever seen that? Okay. No. People, when they look at a map of, of Washington, D.C., the roads, if you trace the right ones, oh, yeah, 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 it yeah, looks yeah. like a pentagram, like a devil worshiping symbol. Yes. Um, I guess you could probably do that anywhere if probably. you took random lines and you traced could. them in the pattern that you want. Yeah, it'll yeah. happen, yeah. Okay. Well... The one that I wanted came back. <laughs> oh, man, this is going to fire up some people, but I'm going to go with global warming. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'm going to go with that one. That one will fire up a conversation. Woo! Uh, and JP, you're are, are you saying it's a conspiracy that it's real or that it's not real? That's real and not real. Okay. Yeah. I guess some days are hotter than others. <laughs> That's correct. And colder. Whenever you get down, I mean, to those it. hot days. It's obviously the hot, the world is hot, warm. Yeah, warmer. It's hot. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Uh, but JP, you get your last one. I hope I didn't take it. Uh, nope, and I didn't think you guys would. I'm going to go with the Princess Diana. Oh, the the, the oh man, that the, the, they killed her. Oh yeah, and that, that wasn't a paparazzi accident. And do you think it was? Man, I mean, the craziest. That's that's the greatest thing about conspiracy theories. The ones that are actually that you can actually sit and have a, a good conversation about, prove it. Yeah, you well, can't that's the thing you because can't they were in a tunnel. Happen. Yeah, they were in a tunnel when it happened. There were cameras weren't working in the tunnel. The I mean, this wasn't where this. I mean, it looks like the paparazzi did oh, it. Oh God damn it! But did they pay the paparazzi? I to just do got it? One. You know what I, I mean? Do too. Like, if, okay, I tell you what. If you thought of if you thought of one and you yeah. want to take one away, you go ahead because I I'm going to take away my global man. One. Look, man. Yeah, get every my... fucking week. With I'm, sorry. You. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Every I'm sorry. week with you. I know, man, but they, you're fucking taking one. I draft is over. Back. I came here pre- prepared to do a different draft, and then Scotty sprung this on me last minute. Uh, okay. I realize you know you've been outside smoking. Yeah. So you've had plenty of time to prep. This is true. Uh, <laughs> No, uh, Epstein, Jeffrey Epstein. Oh, yeah, fuck. that's a good oh, one, man. Fuck. That's a good one, but it's too late. You already made your picks. You want to take away your pentagram? Yeah. Okay. That Just was fucking stupid. Take away whatever you would <laughs> take it away. This is how Jeremy wins. Right. It is. That and they like me better. Yeah, that like, doesn't I'm, hurt. I'm a, I'm a rare flavor for them. That doesn't hurt. I'm exotic. I, I'm also going to take away my last pick instead of the global warming. I'm going to take away, I'm, I'm going to actually put in Sandy Hook. I think okay. that, yeah, that one. Ah, fuck, I'll just keep global warming. We'll go. We'll just keep it. We'll keep it. 
That's, once again, a very vague. Okay, well then, yeah, Sandy Hook. I'll take I'll, also I'll, very vague. No, yeah. saying it happened, didn't happen. I, I, actors. I, I, yeah, the actors thing. It's the, really they were creepy. Using blanks. It's it's it it's really fucking creepy. I've actually looked into that one, and I don't. I'm not gonna say it fucking it's true or it's untrue. I'm just saying there's some very questionable details of the people, and I've seen it, and it's it's fucking creepy. If you use kids and and stuff like that, it bothers the fuck out of me. Uh, but I yeah, I don't think they used them as props. I think uh, they're probably actually dead. Uh, you're probably right. Uh, they but didn't use an AR-15 though. They actually used a staple gun. Oh, that's, that's right. the conspiracy. <laughs> that's the conspiracy. Gotcha. I mean, they were long. Yeah, long like long roofing staples. staples. Roofing staples. Right. Uh, but yeah, I'll take Sandy Hook as my last one. But anyways, uh, now you can go to uh, facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines and vote for whoever has the list of the best conspiracy oh, or the, your that favorite. That right there gets it taken off of Facebook. Well, which one? Sandy. Oh, yeah. Okay, fine. Well, we're back to global warming. Fuck. No, I mean, put it there, but I'm just saying Zuckerberg's oh, going to. Yeah, he's not going to like that. Uh, yeah. Well, I'll take, I'll, I'll put global warming up there. It'll be fine. Then they won't, they won't know. He doesn't like us anyway. So if he gets taken hey, down, it'll go to Twitter. Take go, global warming caused Sandy Hook. Right. That's exactly right. Uh, but yes, yeah, so you can go to facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines and vote for the list of your favorite conspiracy theories. And you can also go to Twitter slash X, which is at L O T sidelines. And whoever wins gets a high five because uh, it's probably Jeremy and he won't be here next week. So big, no, big, big whoop. It will be literally a billion years. That's right. Uh, but now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. All right, ladies and gentlemen. That's really what I like. That last move is the one I really look for. (laughs) I like it. Yeah, there's an inside joke that uh, you don't get to see off of the show. But anyways, this is our laughing on the sidelines shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and everybody's absolute favorite, Lego. Yeah, baby. (laughs) Okay. Um, On July 27th, 2007, uh, residents of Phoenix, Arizona, who were tuned in to ABC affiliate KNXV, had their programming interrupted with breaking news of a high-speed chase between police and a local bank robber. He was not a nationwide bank robber. He was a local. Um, (laughs) Anyway, uh, the anger woman filled viewers in with the facts she had, which made a lot of people wonder what the fuck a woman is doing as the anchor, but still... (laughs) Uh, but as she uh, gave her report, uh, the viewers got to watch live as it happens footage from their uh, traffic copter. Uh, at approximately 12.46 p.m., the video feed uh, went black and the reporter apologized for the technical difficulties and continued on with her report. Uh, the viewers were then shocked to learn later uh, that what actually happened was that the pilot and cameraman were so focused on this police chase that they didn't realize that they were veering into a poli- uh, traffic copter from other local affiliate KTVK. The midair collision caused both crash craft to crash to the ground, killing the total of four passengers that were aboard both craft. And now your child can recreate the magic of this moment using nothing but a little imagination and Legos. Legos, they're on your side. <laughs> <laughs> or Legos, Kobe. Oh. Yeah. Hey. Too, has it been too late? No. Too no. long? Yeah. yeah it's I, been long I, would, I don't want to say too soon. Too uh, soon? Uh, too yeah. long ago. I almost forgot about him. Yeah, Kobe. Uh, But anyways, uh, this week's laughing on the sidelines shitty situation is, would you rather, uh, every time you have sex, it's a surprise and it's bad, so it's bad surprise sex, (laughs) or every time you use the restroom to go poop, you have to sit there long enough for your legs to fall asleep. Oh, man. This is not hard for me. This is very easy. You're going, you're going poop. I'm going poop yeah, until my legs fall asleep. I knew asleep. you would. It's like a challenge. You can stand up and try to walk, and it's it's a challenge. Okay. You just, I assume life is a challenge. For you. Yeah, yeah, I would it, assume it the really same thing. is. That's a pretty safe assumption. I've now gotten to the age of whenever I wake up in the morning and I get out of bed and I have to walk to the bathroom, it's almost as if that. It's just my bones are old and creaky, and 
you know, it's a challenge. So makes you consider being a bedwetter. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's just the better route to go. Maybe I should wear some of them Depends panties. Maybe yeah, yeah. I should. Put some plastic sheets on the bed. But yeah, Maybe man, I'm, I'm sitting on the toilet watching TikTok for 45 okay. minutes. That's me. Uh, JP? I'm going to go with the sex one. I'm sure you are. Because it's been so long that any sex for me, bad, good, or otherwise, is just okay. I'm I'm yeah. ready. Not only that, it's a surprise, and it's a surprise. <laughs> I love surprises. I love like I love surprises. I'm sure you do. Oh, good look, surprise! She's got a dick. Surprise! I hit your car. Uh, <laughs> surprise! Here's fourteen hundred dollars. There you go. Oh, oh, that's see, a good not surprise. all surprises. Some bad surprises turn into be good surprises. That's just true. I just love surprises. Yeah, I'm sure you do. How about so. you, Jeremy Joseph? Uh, I'm going with Shetton. Uh, <laughs> that because he does that anyway. Yeah, <laughs> I, it, it's not an uncommon occurrence yeah. for me. Anyhow. Uh, and so far it has not ruined the act of pooping for me. However, <laughs> that, I do yeah. think bad surprise sex would fuck up sex for me. I, that's a great answer, man. That is a great answer. Yeah. I don't want to make negative associations with fucking. That's true. That's true. Well, shit. I am, I am very, very happy that we got to do this episode with you, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. You, as always, You know are who's not happy about it? Jesus. You, Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. We're supposed to be resting yeah. on this Lord's Day. I know, mm-hmm. I know, but this is very nice. Uh, Derek is uh, on his vacation to San Francisco, and uh, Mike's on his way up to. Hey, Comedy he's with Show. your people, JP. Yeah, he is. He's yeah. hanging out with uh, with. Yep. And by that, I mean shoplifters. Shoplifters. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. But uh, but yeah. So How else am I supposed to get nice things? Yeah, <laughs> Derek's going to join him. Won't keep in your car. He's going to help you. Out. He's going to bring you home something bring nice. Bring you home something real nice. That's right. Uh, but no, thank you very much, Jeremy Joseph. I sincerely do appreciate you uh, taking the time, especially when your time is so valuable, being paid so much for working mm-hmm. tens and seven yeah. days a week. Well, I was off work anyway, so I didn't get paid, <laughs> okay. but whatever. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, but we really do appreciate it. Miss you on the show. Any, t- any chance you can come by, we absolutely love you. JP, same for you, man. Thank you for, yeah, doing, man. for coming in. I really appreciate it, especially on a, on a you know day you're not supposed yeah, to be here. No, so. I, I, loved, I love it. I love it. Uh, but thank you guys uh, very, very much. Uh, we have quite a few more newer listeners on the show, so we thank uh, all of you guys stopping not by. Not anymore. Not anymore. Yeah, you'll be able to see what it was like to have you know somebody of comedic genius on the show on a regular basis, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. Right. I've ruined it for them. Absolutely. Uh, but guys, we sincerely do appreciate it. Keep doing what you're doing, helping the show grow, uh, sharing our videos with your friends. That's what it always uh, amounts to uh, us getting a, a better audience. So we sincerely do appreciate you. And as we always like to say, guys, do us a favor. If you like us, tell your friends. And if you don't like us, I hope your dad cuts you from this co-ed <laughs> softball team. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't like us, tell your enemies. And until next time, choosy moms, choose Jeff. <laughs> Until next time Keep laughing assholes We will see you later Take care